Are we good now? It better be good now. I ah, there we go. We're great. Um, apparently my uh audio, my Go XLR software didn't uh launch when I started my computer this uh today. So that's super cool and fun. Hello everyone, Vasive here. Welcome. Look at this goofy little game you can't even see. I need to change this so it actually shows the whole game. What's going on, Kira? Yeah, lawyering, lawyer, lawyer. I can say that word. Lawyering in this economy, absolutely. Uh, thank you so much for this game, by the way. I'm excited to play it. Um, I know, I know a little bit about it. Um, it's apparently it's like it's a cult classic, and everyone loves it that has played it. And I've heard nothing but recommendations. But uh, it is it is not voiced at all. So uh, we're gonna have to come up with voices and stuff for all these characters. But uh, it should be fun. Uh, starting late a little bit today because uh, work has been awful uh, for the past two weeks. So work late, got stuck up doing that, came downstairs, computer was all froze, started up computer, and uh, apparently voice stuff wasn't on. So great times to be had all around. Anyways, I'm excited to play. Um, I It kind of feels like this game is meant to be played on controller a little bit better because it was wanting me to do like backspace and stuff for going back. So I do have a hole in my chest. I just saw that too. Let's see. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll play, man. Like I've been playing solid controller games for months. Ah, controller support. You love that. All right. You guys ready for this? I'm ready for this, I think. Uh, play this game. Oh, okay. So you get to choose. Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Justice for All, Phoenix Wright, Trials and Tribulations. I'm assuming we start with this one. Right? Episode one. First turn of... Who's that guy? N not the guy with the, the jacket. That guy looks creepy as hell. Uh, play... Oh. Oh, okay. So I have to unlock the other ones. <laughs> Play the first turnabout. I got an achievement for starting the game. <laughs> I don't know what we're supposed to be voicing here. Colonel Mustard in the conservatory with the statue. Damn it, why me? I don't know what voice this is supposed to be. I can't get caught. Not like this. It's that guy. I got, I didn't skip that. I got to find someone to pin this. Someone like him. Someone like him. I'll make it look like he did it. That was weird. That one thing skipped. August 3rd, 9.47 a.m. District Court Defendant Lobby number two. Okay, so Phoenix, that's me, right? Okay, the music's pretty good. Oh, it's got like that old school vibe. I kind of love it. Um, you know what? Maybe I should move out of the way. Because I'm guessing things are going to show up. Hey, your Phoenix, most games gotcha. Boy, am I nervous. Uh, Mia. Uh, okay. Right. That'll do. Oh, I fucked up your voice. You're hot. And I gave you a not good voice. I apologize. Oh, hi, Chief. Chief, are you police department chief? Also, she's got the yang. Whew, I'm glad you made it on time. Oh God, or I made it on time. I'm, I apologize. This is a terrible voice for her. She's mommy. Give her mommy voice. How do I do that? All right, hold on. Let's see. Uh, let's do uh. All right. No, 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 no. How's that? Now, is she a common character, though? Because that means I'm going to have to keep pushing this button over here, and that's going to be awful. Ooh, I'm glad you, I made it on time. Well, I have to say, Phoenix, I'm impressed. Not everyone takes on a murder trial out off the bat like this. Dude, this music slaps! Uh, let's go to options. No! Uh... I didn't mean to skip whatever she just said. 
Something like that. I don't know why I was coming here. Because I can... Oh, that's why. Because we do need to turn down audio ever so slightly, because... If I t yeah, this one I couldn't control the audio independently, so it's linked to all the other sounds on the PC. So if I turned it down, then you wouldn't hear like alerts and stuff. Um, thanks. Actually, it's just because I owe him a favor. Who do I owe a favor? A favor? You mean you knew the defendant before this case? I did? Yeah. Actually, I kind of owe my current job to him. He's one of the reasons I became an attorney. Well, that's news to me. I want to help him out any way I can. Okay. Oh, wait. That's me. I want to help him out any way I can. I got to use the reading, the the text blurbs. I just really want to help him. I owe him that much. It's over. My life. Okay, this is green text. It's over! My life and everything is over! Is that your client screaming over there? Yeah, it's him. Okay, so new voice good thing the text color was different kind of threw me off yes despair oh i'm assuming wait this is this the murder dude it's really no well i guess we don't have a name at all i'm gonna do it i'm gonna die it sounds like he wants to die uh yeah <laughs> i love him already his name is butts i love him even more Nick! Is my name Nick? Court record. Oh! Check it out. Attorney's bad. No one would believe I was the defense attorney if I didn't carry this. Okay. Profiles. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. Cindy's autopsy report. Time of death. 731, 4 to 5 p.m. Cause of death. Loss of blood due to blunt trauma. He is 27, chief attorney. Oh, she's chief attorney at Fay and Co. My boss and very good defense attorney. No, no, no. Go back. Larry Butts. <laughs> the defendant in this case, a likely likable guy who has been my friend since grade school. I haven't met this person yet. Is this the person dead? Yeah, Cindy Stone. The victim in this case, a model. She lived in an apartment by herself. That's unfortunate. She got smacked with a marble statue. It's fitting for her name. Nick is... Nick is short for Fe Phoenix. Okay. That's cool. Is that a common thing? Or is that just because of this game? Nick! Hey. Hey there, Larry. Larry Butts. Dude, I'm so guilty. Tell them I'm guilty. Uh. Give me the death sentence. I ain't afraid to die. Are you okay, bud? What? What's wrong, Larry? Oh, it's all over. I... I'm finished, I'm finished! I can't live in a world without her, I can't! Who who took her away from me, Nick? Who did this? Wait, Wait a minute. He just said he was guilty, and now... This guy have multiple personalities. Who took her from me? Who did this? Ah, uh, Nick! You gotta tell me! Who took my baby away? Mm, the person responsible for your girlfriend's death? The newspapers say it was you. It's being framed. Oh, yeah, yeah, because that's what the guy said, huh? My name is Phoenix Wright. Here's the story. My first case is a fairly simple one. She spilled a bunch of ketchup. A young woman was killed in her apartment. The guy they arrested was unlikely... Or was an unlucky sap dating her. Larry Butts. My best friend since grade school. Our school had a saying, when something smells... It's usually the butts. <laughs> in the 23 years I've known him, it's usually been true. He has a knack for getting himself in trouble. One thing I can say, though, it's usually not his fault. He just has terrible luck. But I know better than anyone that he's a good guy at heart. That and I owe him one, which is why I took the case to clear his name. For my first case, oof. And that's just what I'm going to do. Uh, Is this the same day? I think so. Whoa, the art changed. <laughs> Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Larry Butts. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Wait, that's the that's the murderer dude's voice. What? What? Uh, 
Although he kind of looks like he's the same. Like a similar voice. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll play with it. The um, defense is ready, Your Honor. Ahem. Mr. Wright, this is your first trial, is it not? Yes, Your Honor. I'm uh, a little nervous. Your conduct during this trial will decide the fate of your client. Murder is a serious charge. For your client's sake, I hope you can control your nerves. Thank, thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, given the circumstances, I think we should have a test to ascertain your readiness. Yes, Your Honor. Look, hand shaking, knees weak, arms heavy, mom spaghetti, eyesight fading. The test will consist of a few simple questions. Answer them clearly and concisely. Do you like the color blue? Please state the name of the defendant in this case. Uh, defendant is this guy. Should I fuck around? The defendant. Well, that's Larry Butts, Your Honor. Correct. Just keep your wits about you and you'll do fine. Next question. This is a murder trial. Tell me. What's the victim's name? Whew, I knew this one. I had read the case report cover to cover so many times. It's... wait. Uh oh. <laughs> the animation is great. It, it, that was a fighting game sound. Oh no way, I forgot. I'm drawing a total blank here. Okay. Phoenix, are you absolutely sure you're up for this? You don't even know the victim's name? Oh, the victim. Uh, of course, I know, of course I know the victim's name. I, uh, just forgot. Temporarily. I think I feel a migraine coming on. Look, the victim's name is listed in the court record. Just press tab to check it at any time, okay? Remember to check it often. Do it for me, please. I'm begging you. Oh, she's begging, is she? Court record. Uh. Oh! The prosecutor for this case lacks presence. Generally bad at getting his point across. Winston Payne. Winston Payne. This person. Cindy Stone. Was that a, not it? Mr. Wright, who is the victim in this case? Ah, crap. I almost pushed the, the, the button. Also, is my voice delayed with the, the camera? Because we, I found that out like last week. And it looks like it might be, which is very obnoxious. I don't know why that changed. Hold on a second. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me try a thing. Uh oh, what am I trying to open? A camera utility. Where is it? Open. Connect a camera. It is connected. Excuse you. Um. No, that's not what I want. The music's great. It says my camera isn't on. That's very weird. Because it most certainly is. settings video stream info that's not what I need zoom pan color correction overlay take snapshot nope uh oh it look it, I see I think it's delayed dude also I'll, I'll pause the recording for all right hopefully that's better um yeah, it, it was pointing to the wrong audio source for some reason. I don't know why that changed, but back at the game. Hopefully it's better. If not, I'll check it out later. <gasps> Excuse me. Uh, Mr. Ray, who is the victim in this case? Uh, Cinderblock. <laughs> hey, Kira, I won't. Will I fuck up the game if I intentionally fuck around with this? Because I kind of want to. Because that sounds funny. But I also don't want to, like, fail the game. Not this earlier? Cinder Block! Oh, um, wasn't it Miss Block? It's Cinder Block? The person in question was a victim of murder, not ill-conceived naming, Mr. Wright. 
Oh crap, I'm sorry. I can't romance her, right? <laughs> right? If you forget something, use tab to check the court record and jog your memory. A mistake in court could cost you the case. I'll ask you again, Mr. Wright. Who is the victim in this case? We gotta do it. Um, EFA? <laughs> I'm sorry! I had to do it! What? How can I be the victim? Oh, right. Sorry. I, uh, it was the first name that popped in my head. It's because you're on my mind. And, uh... Court record, right. Remember to use it when you're in a pinch with tab. Oh, she's mad at me. I think I fucked up. You'll have a health bar and take damage most of the time when you mess up. Oh, really? You take damage? They throw books at you or something? Let me ask you that one again. Mr. Wright, who is the victim in this case? Uh, I'm accidentally gonna misclick all the time because I think that I need to like progress the text box but it just pops up uh Cindy Stone um the victim's name is Cindy Stone correct now tell me what was the cause of death she because she, she died because she was hit with a blunt object she was struck once by a blunt object correct You've answered all my questions. I see no reason why we couldn't pr shouldn't proceed. What do you think of my beard? Final question. You seem much more relaxed, Mr. Wright. Good for you. Thank you, Your Honor. Because I don't feel relaxed. That's for sure. Well then, first a question for the prosecution. Mr. Payne. Yes, Your Honor. As Mr. Wright just told us, the victim was struck with a blunt object. Would you explain to the court just what that object was? The murder weapon was the statue of the sinker. It was found lying on the floor next to the victim. I see. The court accepts it into evidence. Statue added to the court record. The statue in the shape of the tinker, it's rather heavy. <laughs> right. Be sure to pay attention to the e any evidence added during the trial. That evidence is the only ammunition you have in court. Just tab to check the court record for frequently. It's not. It's not that button. It's RB. Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its first witness. The prosecution calls defendant Mr. Butts to the stand. Um, Chief, what do I do now? Pay attention. You don't want to miss any information that might help your client's case. You'll get your chance to respond to the prosecution later, so be ready. Let's just hope he doesn't say anything. Unfortunate. Uh oh, Larry gets excited easily. This could be bad. Fun fact, Judge is the... Fun fact, Judge is in every single main game, but he is never named. Really? <laughs> they don't name him? Aw, oh, that's unfortunate. It looks like something from a... Like a Zelda game. Like he would be an old elder or something. <clears throat> Mr. Butt, it is not true that the victim had recently dumped you. Hey, watch it, buddy! We were great together! We have Romeo and Juliet, Cleopatra and Mark Anthony! You don't want to compare yourself to those... Romeo and Juliet murdered themselves. And... Cleopatra and Mark Anthony didn't have a, a good end either. Ha! Ah, see? Yeah, didn't they all die? I wasn't dumped. I, I gotta give him, uh... I wasn't dumped. She, she just wasn't taking my phone calls or seeing me. Ever. Aw, oh, man, you make yourself look awful. What is it to you anyway? Oh, no. What is it to you anyway? That's his voice. Mr. Butts, what you describe is generally what we mean by dumped. In fact, she had completely abandoned you. Has been seeing other men. She had just returned from overseas with one of them the day before the murderer. Maybe it was him. What do you mean? Oh, god damn it. I his I wanna give him that the boss's voice from Dave the Diver. But I keep switching his voice. What do you mean, one of them? Nah, it, that's not his voice. What do you mean one of them? Lies! All of it lies! I don't believe a word of it. Your Honor, the victim's passport. According to this, she was in Paris until the day before she died. Passport added to the court record. The victim apparently arrived home from Paris on 7.30 the day before the murder. Okay. Mm, indeed. 
She appears to have returned the day before the murder. Uh, no way. The victim was a bottle, but did not have a large income. It appears that she had several sugar daddies. Okay. Daddies? Sugar? <laughs> okay, so this isn't a kid's game necessarily. Yes, older men who gave her money and gifts. She took their money and used it to support her lifestyle. All it cost them was a few feet picks. Dude! We can clearly see what kind of woman this, this stone was. Oh, fuck you, sir. Get that bag! Well, uh, she's dead now. Tell me, Mr. Butts, what do you think of her now? Right. I don't think you want him to answer that question. Yeah, Larry has a way of running, running his mouth in all the wrong directions. Should I? Wait and see what happens. Stop him from answering. Slam disc! My client had no idea the victim was seeing other men. That question is irrelevant to this case. Dude, Nick, what do you mean irrelevant? That cheating she dog. You're making... Oh, dude, shut your face. Shut your noisemaker. You're making it worse. I'm charging you double. I'm gonna die. I'm just gonna drop dead. Yeah, when I met her in the afterlife... I'm gonna go to the bottom, get to the bottom of this. Dude. I quit lawyering already. If he's my first client, I'm done. What's up, Rooster? Quick Hadoken the witness. <gasps> Do I get superpowers? Let's continue with the trial, shall we? I believe the accused mot motive is clear to everyone. Yes, quite. Oh, that was the wrong voice. Oh boy, this is so not looking good. Next question. You went to the victim's apartment on the day of the murder, did you not? Well, did you or did you not? Now he doesn't want to talk. There it is. <laughs> well, maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Uh, he went. What do I do? Have him answer. Uh. Stop him! Shut your face! I'll send him a signal. Slap the paper. Lie like a dog! <laughs> Read the eyes. Dude, his eyebrows are intense. Um, well, see, it's like this. I don't remember. You don't remember? Well, then, we'll just have to remind you. I got a bad feeling about this. We have a witness that can prove he, he did... We have a witness that can prove that he did go to the victim's apartment that day. Well, that simplifies matters. He should not be saying that. You're supposed to be impartial. Who is... Uh, who is your witness? The man who found the victim's body. That's us. Just before making the gruesome discovery. He saw the defendant fling the scene of the crime. This isn't good. This isn't great. This is bad. Order, order in the court. Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its witness. Yes, your honor. This is bad. On the day of the murder. On the day of the murder, my witness was selling newspapers at the victim's building. Please bring Mr. Frank saw it. <sighs> nice. Mr. Frank saw it to the stand. Oh, you are creepy, sir. Mr. Saw it. You sell newspaper subscriptions. Is this correct? Oh God. Some variety of paranormal piles are part of the series. No. -uh. Okay, that's dope. Yes, newspapers, yes. Mr. Sarth, you may proceed with your testimony. Please tell the court what you saw on the day of the murder. Oh, witness testimony. Witnesses account. It's like recording. There's a testimony thing behind it. I was going door to door selling subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing an apartment. I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Thinking it strange, I looked inside the apartment. And I saw her lying there, a woman, not moving, dead. I quailed and frightened the found and myself unable to go inside. I thought to call the police immediately. However, the phone in her apartment wasn't working. That's us. I went to the nearby park and found a public phone. I remember the time exactly. It was 1 p.m. He l Didn't she die? Ha! You lying motherfucker! 
I remember the time exactly. It was 1 p.m. The man who ran was, without a doubt, the defendant sitting right over there. You fucking lied. You lied under oath. Hmm. There, you went and you tell the truth. I can't defend you against a testimony like that. Incidentally, why wasn't the phone in the victim's apartment working? Your Honor, at the time of the murder, there was a blackout in the building. <laughs> Aren't phones supposed to work during a blackout? Yes, Your Honor. However, some cordless phones do not function normally. The phone that Mr. Sawit used was one of those. Your Honor. I have a record of the blackout for your per perusal. Interesting. Blackout record. Electricity to Miss Stone's building. It was out from noon to 6 p.m. Okay. Blackout recorder added to the court record. No. Mr. Ray. Yes! Uh, yes, Your Honor? You may begin your cross-examination. Cross-examination? Your Honor? Dude! Did I not go to lawyer schools? We got some Castlevania music. All right, right. This is it. The real deal. Uh, what exactly am I supposed to do? You're supposed to lawyer. Why, you, you expose the lies in the testimony the witness just gave. Lies! What? He was lying? The client is innocent, right? And that witness must have lied in his testimony. Or is your client really guilty? Dude, the music is so good. How do I prove he's not? You hold the key. It's in the evidence. Compare the witness's testimony to the evidence at hand. There's bound to be a contradiction in there. First, find contradictions between the court record and the witness's testimony. Then, once you've found the contradicting evidence, present it and rub it in the witness's face. Um... Um, okay. Open the court record with a tab. With tab. And point out contradictions in the testimony. You got it, Mia. I'm not gonna let you down. This guy is so creepy. I don't like Mr. Wiggles, me neither. Witnesses account. Okay. I thought I must be in a hurry. Oh, so we know where he li lied, right? Ah! Wait. Press? Oh, shit! I thought it was press like, like news press. Oh. Oh, I was supposed to do that. I thought it was news press. <laughs> 1 p.m. Are you certain? Yes, absolutely. Hmm. He seems really confident. 1 p.m. Right. Doesn't that seem strange to you? Present some evidence to contradict him. You fucking got it. Uh, present. It's present. You want a present of your lying bitch ass face? Present. Objection! Objection! I love that. Found the body at 1 p.m. You sure? Yes, it was 1 p.m. for certain. Slam desk. Frankly, I find that hard to believe. <laughs> Slap the paper. This is how I fondle my friends. <laughs> or my lovers. That, that that's that's better. It, no, it's not. None of that's better. Ignore it. Moving on. Your statement directly contradicts the autopsy report. The autopsy notes the same time of death at some time after 4 p.m. There was nobody to, uh, no body to find at 1 p.m. That's funny. <laughs> that picture is great. How do you explain the three-hour gap? <laughs> I sweat. <laughs> The sweat lubricates my muscles on my move in my jacket. Some way of... Oh, I read that. I love Phoenix's serious face. The one where he's like this. And he looks like a bird. He looks like a hawk. <laughs> oh, that... Uh... Did you hear his voice? He sounded like Toad. Hold on a minute. Was the objection... The sound effect, because I, I liked that. That was funny. This is trivial. The witness merely forgot the time. It's very important. After his testimony, I find that hard to believe. Mr. Sawyer. 
Where are you? Why were you so certain that you found the body at 1 p.m.? I, uh, well, uh, uh, that's a really good question. Hey, Traboy. Way to put him on the spot. That's all you have to do. Way to tell contradictions. Lies always beget more lies. See through one and your whole story falls apart. Wait, I remember now. Would you care to give your testimony again? That's not allowed. That's not allowed, is it? The time of discovery. You see, uh, when I found the body, I heard the time. There's a voice saying the time. It was probably coming from the television. Oh, it was three hours off, wasn't it? I guess the victim must have been watching a video or of a taped program. That's why I thought it was 1 p.m. Terribly sorry about the misunderstanding. Salsi Baka. Hmm, I see. You heard a voice saying the time of a taped program. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Uh, the power was out, motherfucker! Ah! I remember. I'm, I'm gonna be good at this game. Right. You know what to do. <sighs> I got this one! No! I, I, I don't know why, but I just... This guy, I just hear him say goo a lot. Uh, this button. Wait, wait, wait. Aha! Will that work? Hold it, bitch! A video. Yes, that would explain why the time was wrong. True, true. Why does she always look nervous? Right. I think the problem lies someplace, somewhere else. No, that was it! We agreed that you heard the time at the scene then. That's why I thought it was... That's why I thought it was 1 p.m. Oh, I can go back. There was a voice saying it was probably coming from the television. This one. Fuck you, you're lying! Oh. Are you sure it was a television and not a radio? There we go, we got it. Well, no, I guess it might have been a radio. Incidentally, there was no radio on the premises. He just outed his own client. There was only one large television. Right. I can't put my finger on it, but something about his... This seems fishy. Something about hearing the television. The witness has testified. He heard the time. Yeah, I was trying to do that. I guess the victim must have been watching a video. That's not true. No, ah, that's it though. Yes, I did. No, say anything suspicious. I did. He lied. Wait, can I do this? Can I do that? Oh! So I don't need... I don't necessarily have to find it when he's talking. I don't think. Hold it right there. The prosecution has said there was a blackhead at the time of the discovery. And this record proves it. Yes, smart lubrication. You can have heard a television or a video. Ah! No! I... Uh, uh. The defense has a point. You have an explanation for this, Mr. Sard. Oh, I... I... It, I find it quite a puzzling myself, quite... Ah! Wait, I remember now. Mr. Sard, the court would prefer to hear the accurate testimony from the very beginning. These constant corrections are harming your credibility. That, and you seem rather... distraught. You smell like pancakes. My apologies, Your Honor. It, uh, it must have been the shock of finding the body. Very well, Mr. Sorry. Let's hear your testimony one more, once more, please. That should not be allowed. Presses to get more info, which sometimes needed to find contrary. Oh, you're pressing the witness. That's what it means by press. You don't need to press when the contradiction is... Oh, okay, 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 okay. That makes sense.
hearing the time. Actually, I didn't hear the time. I saw it. There was a table clock in the apartment, wasn't there? Yeah, the, the murder weapon. The killer used it to kill the victim. That must have been what I saw. Was there a clock on the statue? Uh, you saw a clock? I guess that would explain it. This judge should not be a judge. The defense may cross-examine the witness. Gladly. Fuck you, liar! Trying to get my friend murdered. Actually, I didn't hear... Uh, I saw it. There was a table clock in the apartment. There, there was a table clock in the apartment. It wasn't there. Yeah, the murder weapon. Oh. Uh... Present. Is there a clock on there? Wait just a moment. Is that a clock? The, mur the murder weapon wasn't a clock. It was the statue. Are you guys seeing the flickering? Is, is that part of the game? Yo, the battle music. Now, how is this supposed to be a clock? Uh, you with your objections and your evidence? Just who do you think you are? I'm gonna put you in a fucking prison. Just answer the question, Mr. Saw It. Hey, I, I saw it in there, okay? Th that's a clock. Was it a clock? You're on earth by me. It's Mr. Payne. As the witness stated, this statue is indeed a clock. The neck is a switch. You just tilt it and it says the time out loud. As it doesn't look like a clock, I submit it as a statue. My apologies. Ah, shit. I see. So the murder weapon was a table clock after all. Well, Mr. Wright, it appears that his, the witness's testimony was correct. After three tries? This is a clock. Do you have any problems with this testimony now? Yes! He's a lying son of a bitch! Your Honor, there is a gaping hole in the witness's testimony. The only way he could have known the weapon was a clock is to hold it in his hand. I, I didn't put that together. Yet the witness testified that he never entered the apartment. Oh! Hey, good job, game, because I didn't put that together. Clearly a contradiction. Hmm. Indeed. The witness knew it was the clock because he... Went into the apartment. You're lying! You were inside the apartment. Is it supposed to flicker like that? The legal system in this game is a problem, but there's lore reasons for it. And being a problem actually comes up a good amount of time. Really? All right, that's kind of great. You were inside the apartment on the day of the murder. Uh, oh yeah, prove it. Prove I went in there. I'll do better than that. I can prove you were the one who killed her. But fingerprints, people. You struck her with the clock and the shock of the blows triggered the clock's voice. That was the sound you heard. Yo. He's getting, he's like going Super Saiyan. Order in the court. Intriguing. Please continue, Mr. Ray. Yes, your honor. It's a dirty murder. Okay, he was wearing gloves. Mr. Sai, the sound must have left quite an impression on you. Understandable, since the murder weapon spoke just as you hit the victim. That voice was burned into your mind. That's why you were so certain about the time. <laughs> should I give him a toad voice instead? I kind of feel like we should switch his voice to toad voice. What? What's the meaning of this? It's all baseless conjecture. Ah, uh, that voice is terrible. I don't know if we can do that. I love that it's a lawyer game, but it's so damn anime. <laughs> Baseless? Just look at the witness's face. He's sweating bullets. <laughs> Would the witness care to elaborate? Did you strike the victim with a clock? I... That... I... I, uh, I never... Look, I... The clock... I heard no... I mean, I saw... Uh, uh. What the fuck? He just threw his toupee at me. Shut up, shut up, shut up! Uh, I hate you! It was him! I tell you! I saw him! He killed her! He should burn! Burn! Give him death! Okay, he, does he hate Larry for some reason? I kind of thought he killed a ch lady for a different reason, but maybe he doesn't like Larry. Order. Order in the court, Daisy. Your Honor, a moment, please.
Please. Oh, God. There isn't a shred of evidence supporting the defense's claims. He's too right. Your Honor, you claim the sound of the witness heard came from the clock. Do you have any evidence? Shit. The whole clay case is riding on this. I better think through it carefully. Your Honor, the sound Mr. Saw heard was definitely his, his clock. A fact which is clear if you simply... Oh, my life bar. Try sounding the clock. Don't sound the clock. Uh... What was the question? Let's sound the clock now, here in this court. Your Honor, may I have the clock? I ask the court to listen very carefully. Beep. I think it's... 825. That certainly is a strange way to announce the time. Well, he is the thinker, after all. So we've heard the clock. What are your conclusions, Mr. Wright? Mr. Payne, can you tell me what time it is now? It's 1125! Ah! Four hours behind. As you can see, this clock is exactly three hours slow. Precisely the discrepancy between what Mr. Saw heard and the actual time of death. Ew! You're getting worse and worse the more we look at you. So, Mr. Saw, try to talk your way out of this one. <laughs> you forgot one thing! Uh oh. What's he talking about now? <laughs> well, it may seem like the clock is running three hours slow, it proves nothing! How do you know it was running three hours slow on the day of the murder? If you can't prove that, you don't have a case. She was uh, in Thailand or something. That's right. How am I going to prove that? Damn it. We're so close. He's too right. It seems you lack the critical evidence to support your claim. Ah. Uh, yes, Your Honor. This means I cannot let you indict the witness. Unfortunately. No! I do! I do! Fuck! Ah, oh, I think I fucked up. This ends the cross-examination of Mr. Frank's side. I come all the way down here to testify and look what happens! You treat me like a criminal! A criminal! You're a murderer. So, yes, you are a criminal. Your lawyers are all slime. Ugh, I almost had him. Slam that desk. Sorry, Larry. I failed you. There's nothing I can do about it now. Mia, say something! Yo, she did! Mommy coming in to save. Not so fast, Mr. Solid. Oh, damn. Here she comes. Mia. I mean, Chief. Listen up, right? Don't throw this one away. Not like this. Thank you. But, Chief, it's over. I can't prove the clock was slowed the day of the murder. Nobody can prove that. Um, well, yes. But that doesn't mean you can can't still win. I think of it out of the box. Don't waste time doubting the facts. Assume the clock was three hours slow and think through it. Ask yourself, why was this clock three time, three hours slow? Figure out the reason you'll have your proof. Right, right? Right, right. Can you think of a reason as why the clock would be three hours slow? Yes! Wait! Maybe I can prove it. I must have evidence somewhere that can prove it, right? I need to let him have it. Well, Mr. Wright, you say clock was already... Running slow on the day of the murder. Have you found evidence to support this claim? Of course! I'm just bullshitting my way through this as I can. There's a piece of evidence in the court record that can prove my claim beyond a doubt. <laughs> Tough words, let's see you pull this one off. You're the one sweating over there, bro. Let's see this evidence that was proves why the clock was running slow. Uh, boo. Pour out passport! Take that! Take that! <laughs> like, I'm doing a uh, fighter with moves. The victim had just returned home from abroad the day before the murder. As we all know, the time difference between here and Paris is nine hours. Paris? Where did I get Thailand? And it's 4 p.m. here. It's 1 a.m. the next day here. There. The clock wasn't three hours slow. It was nine hours fast. Ooh. Take that. The victim hadn't reset her clock since returning home. That's why the time you heard when you struck her, in the, struck her dead in the apartment was wrong. 
group enough for you, Mr. Saw it? Or should I say, Mr. Did it? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me this. Oh, did he just throw up or take a cyanide pill? Or foaming out the mouth. I thought he was going to take off like other like side toupees. Order. Order, I see. You like her longer degree? Yeah. Well, this case is certainly turned out differently than we all expected. My brain was like blanking out. <laughs> I was thinking of a joke about uh, Mia and then my brain blanked out because I was reading his words in his voice thinking of a dumbass joke and it all got combobulated. It was going to be some joke about she could cross witness me anytime. Something like that. I don't know. Mr. Payne, your witness. Yeah, um, he was arrested and has been taken away, Your Honor. Very well. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. I have to say I'm impressed. I don't think I've ever seen someone complete defense so quickly and find the true culprit at the same time. Thank you, Your Honor. At this point, this is only a formality, but this court finds the defendant, Mr. Larry Butts, not guilty. Ah, uh, yeah. Why is there confetti in the courtroom? And with that, this court is adjourned. Lock him up, motherfucker! It turns out that Frank saw it was a common burglar. He posed it as a newspaper salesman to check and see when people were out of the house. That day, when Larry went to her apartment, the victim wasn't home. After he left, Mr. Sawit let himself in to do his dirty work. While he was searching her place, the victim returned. Flustered, Mr. Sawit grabbed the nearest blunt object he could find. Aw, oh, that fucking sucks. Poor girl. Whew. Still can't believe we won. Oh, she's happy with me, dude. Let's go celebrate my la my first win. Right. Good job, in there. Congratulations. Th thanks, Chief. I know I owe it all to you. Not at all. Not at all. You fought your own battles in there. It's been a while since I've seen the trial end on such a satisfying note. I've never seen the Chief looking this happy. She's this glad. Imagine how Larry must feel. <laughs> My life is over. Wait, what? Larry, you're supposed to be happy. What's wrong now? Oh, Nick. Don't worry about me. I'll be dead and gone soon. What's wrong with you, dude? Are you okay? I don't think he's okay. You need, you need to go to a therapist. I didn't push a button. Good. Wait, no. I mean, bad, 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 bad. Larry, you're innocent. The case is closed. But, but my Cindy Wendy's gone, man. Gone forever. Harry, she was... Uh, never mind. Congratulations, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> Harry? Yes. Yes, you. I can practically see the headlines now. Harry Butts, innocent. Harry Butts. <laughs> uh, thanks. I really owe you one. I won't forget this ever. Let's celebrate. Dinner? Movie? My treat? Oh, no, I couldn't. Yeah, I was just the one who got you off the hook. Oh, hey! Here, take this. It's a present. That's the murder weapon, bro. A present? For me? Wait, wasn't this the, ev wasn't this the evidence that... Actually, I made this clock for her. I made one for her and one for me. Okay. R really? You, you made this? Well, thank you. I'll keep it as a memento. That's weird. Yo, Nick! Can you believe it? I was so into that chick, and she was just playing me for a fool. Don't that make you just want to cry? <laughs> Larry. Are you so sure? Excuse me. I think she thought quite a lot of you in her own way. What? Oh, you don't gotta sympathize with me, suke. Oh, I'm not sympathizing, really. Isn't that right? Right. You have something to show your friend? Something that proves how she felt about him? 
I do? Uh, oh yeah, right. What the heck is she talking about? I don't fucking know. Uh... Just to show... Does he not know that this was the murder weapon? Slap him in the face with it. Check this out, Larry. Proof positive you weren't just some chump to her. Huh? What about that clock? It's the clock you made for her, Larry. She took it with her when she traveled. Aw, oh, that's cute. Whatever, she probably just needed a clock, that's all. You think so? Oh, you think so? It's a pretty heavy clock to take traveling. Well, make it of it, make it of it what you will. Hey, Nick. I'm glad I asked you to be my lawyer. Really, I am. Thanks. Hope that made him feel a little better. Right. I hope you see the importance of evidence now. Also, hopefully you realize things change depending on how you look at them. People, too. We never really know if our clients are guilty or innocent. All we can do is believe in them. In order to believe in them, you have to believe in yourself. Right. Listen. Learn. Grow strong. Never let go of what you believe in. Never. Yes, ma'am! Well, I think our work here is done. Shall we be off? Your place or mine? Yeah, I guess so. Say, hey, how about dinner? On me? We'll drink your toast to innocent butts. Yeah! Oh, speaking of Harry, you were saying part of why you became a lawyer was because of him. Uh, yeah. Part at least. You'll have to tell me more about it sometime. Maybe over drinks? Ooh! Do I get a romancer? And so my first trial came to a close, Larry slapped me on the back and said, Gee, Nick, it's good to have friends. But I'm pretty sure he's not going to pay us. Unless you count the clock he gave me in. I didn't know it then. But that clock was soon going to be at the center of another incident. That's weird. And my promise to tell the chief about me and Larry would be one promise that wouldn't be I wouldn't be able to keep. <gasps> no! The end. Does Mia die? Oh, I don't play this if Mia dies. Whoa. A brand new episode has been added. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Oh, that hurts my ears. Cellular. Hello, this is Maya. That's Mia. Okay. Oh, God. Maya and Mia? Come on. Hey, Maya. It's me. Mia, what's up? You haven't called in a while. Shit. This is hard. I'm gonna get their voices mixed up. Sorry. I've been so busy. How have you been? Well, lonely. And it's all your fault. Nah, I'm just teasing. I've been great. I'm finally getting used to having my own place. That's good to hear. Actually, I'm calling because I have a favor to ask. I know, I know. You want me to hold evidence for you. Isn't that... illegal? Sharp as always. There's a lot of buzz about an upcoming trial. I just don't feel safe keeping the evidence here. I gotcha. So what is it this time? It's... a clock. Clock? Yeah. Or, yeah, it's made to look like the statue of the thinker. And it tells you the time. I thought you might like it. You always like toys. Hey, I'm not a little girl anymore, sis. Oh, God, their names are so confusing. Now, now, you know I'm only teasing. Ah, I should probably tell you the clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame. I did take... I had to take the clock... clockwork out. Sorry. Put some papers inside it instead. Papers? Is that the evidence, then? Hmm. Well, there's a possibility that it might turn out that way, yes. Can you come by the office tonight, say nine, to pick it up? I'll be in a pre-trial meeting until then. Okay, sis, but I expect dinner. Something good. Like, burgers! I could really go for a good burger. Okay, okay. I'll hit the usual joint. Alright, it's a deal. Okay, sis, see you soon. Yep, I'll be waiting, Maya. Oh, God, that... Dude, that's a piercing sound. Conversation recorded.
We recorded that? Uh... Now, Miss Faye, I'll take what's mine. The paper. I'm sorry, but I can't give you what I don't have. Miss Faye, you are a poor liar. Why, I see it right over there. That must be the thinker that swallowed those papers. What? How could you know? <laughs> You're not... Whoa. Cogniferous? What is cogniferous? Is that like cognizant? Uh -huh. You're not cogniferous of my background. Gathering information is my business, you see. I, I should have been more careful. Uh -huh. My dear Miss Fay, I am so very sorry. But I'm afraid I must ask you for one more thing. Your eternal silence. Farewell, Miss Fay. No, come on, dude. Nah, uh uh Uh-uh. You... Oh, it's a different dude. What the hell? Okay. That guy was super villain. Red, white, and blue. What? Oh man, she's not dead. Oh, I'm late. Oh, that's strange. Guess the chief left without me. She said her sister was coming over, so we should all go out for dinner. What's that smell? No! Blood? Mia! Maybe she's in her office. Move? Oh. I smell blood and that can't be good. I have to check and see if Mia the Chief's okay. What am I looking at? I smell blood. Yeah, I know. Oh. Oh, okay. That smell. Blood. <laughs> Sis. Someone's there. Fuck off, man! Aw, oh, man, she has the yin. Aw, oh, man, this fucking sucks! Really? We knew her for like 20 seconds. Chief? Chief! Chief! It's like Snake. You know, the, from uh, Soul, Cal Soul Calibur. That, that game with Solid Snake. Who are you? Oh, wait, that's me. Who are you? Did she just punch me? Did she just knock me out? The strange girl dropped out, co dropped out cold. Left her lying on the office sofa. I went back to the chief where she lay under the window. Snake the Smash will just go. Metal Gear Solid. Go, bleh, Metal Gear Solid. That game. Body was still warm. Man, come on. Ah, oh, dude. That's super upsetting. I could feel it when I held her shoulder. Then, all too quickly, it began to fade. Until finally she was cold. Didn't bother to call the police? Chief. Oh. Chief. It's hard seeing her like this, but if there are any clues here. No, you called the fucking police department. She was struck on the head with a blunt object. She probably died instantly. Oh, man! The thinker lying next to her. Must have been the murder weapon. This is giving me Doki Doki vibes. The Tinker at it. Dude. This, this statue needs to get burned. It's bad luck. <laughs> Any owner, anyone that owns it gets murdered by it. There are some glass shards near the chief's body. Must be a piece of glass lights stand lying broken in the back of the room. Broken glass remains... The broken remains of glass light sand broken beyond all recognition. Nothing else that seems like a clue here. Why is there a note? Hmm? A piece of paper. It must have fallen from Mia's hand. That wasn't there earlier. Was it not? What could it be? That wasn't there earlier. The word is written in blood on the scrap of paper. Maya. 
me to write this? This piece of paper is a receipt from a department store dated yesterday. Okay. I think that's enough snooping around for now. I better call the police. Find out what that girl was doing here. It's encrusted with dried blood. How ironic this became the murder weapon. Again. Yeah, that's fucked up. Broken shards of glass scattered before. They seem to be the remains of a glass light stand. Yeah, we saw that. Anything else? Chair. The chief's chair. A simple functional design feels pretty good to sit in, too. Yeah, that's that's what we need to be thinking about. Oh, it shows you the check, board, check mark when you've seen him. There's a large building right across from the office. The Gatewater Hotel, a nice luxurious place. Am I missing anything? It's painful to look, but I have to for Mia's sake. Looks like she was hit in the head with a blunt object. She probably died instantly. Yeah, how come it didn't mark that off last time? Slide. Whoa! Okay. Surprisingly, the chief was never good with machines. About all she used this PC was for email. She picked up the the ancient model at some garage sale for practically nothing. The Fane Co. ledger book. Everything is written in chief's ultra neat handwriting. It's a small office, but it makes a good bit of money. Right, I'd better call the police. That's funny. A few of the screws on the receiver are missing. It looks like someone was halfway through taking it apart. Police? Please come quick. What, what was that? Someone's screaming from the outside the window. Hello. She's staring right at me. She's holding a phone in her hand. Oh shit. They're gonna think I did it. How come... The phone receiver is missing a few screws. I better not use it. Perfectly normal office desk. The chief had a very particular policy about office decor. Spend big on stuff that clients use, but keep your own stuff simple. Oh. All the chief's important documents are packed in here. This is where she filed her case records and recent rulings. Okay. What am I doing? Court records slide back. Move. That girl just now. Where'd she go? I put her right there on the sofa. Uh oh. I hope she didn't run on me. Hello. Yikes! Don't scare me like that. Um, excuse me, but who are you? It's okay. I work here. Maya. Maya Faye. Maya Faye. Maya. That note, yeah. So Mia was writing this girl's name. Maybe I should show her the receipt. I never thought there'd be a use for evidence like this outside the courtroom. Can I talk to her first? What happened? She seems to be in shock. I don't want to disturb her, but I have to know. Um, excuse me. Can you tell me what happened? Should we give a voice to, um, like, where am I, where I'm just talking? Like, in my brain? I came in! The room was dark! And sis! Sis! So she was already dead. Something like that? Is that annoying? So she was already dead. Even the chief. So you're the chief's... Sister! I'm our younger sister. And you were here visiting? This late at night? Yes, she said she wanted me to keep some evidence for her. Evidence? Yes. It, it was the clock. It was the thinker. Uh. Present? This thing. Before Mia died, she wrote a message with her own blood. She wrote it on the back of the receipt. Why would she write my name? Please just calm down. Why would you? Why would sis write my name? Uh oh, now I've done it. Wee woo, wee woo, wee woo. 
the wee woos are here. Police. Sounds like they're coming this way. Freeze, police. Look at this guy. All right, I'm Detective Dick Gum. Dick Gumshoe. Detective Dick Gumshoe, see? Oh, he said see, see. I'm Detective Dick Gumshoe, see? Gumshoe, what an odd name. We received reports from the building across the way, see? Got a person saying they saw a murder, see? It must have been that woman I saw. Turn that down a little bit, it's a little much. Anyway, I don't want either of you moving one inch, okay? Great, just great. Maya. Wait, she wouldn't have. Nah. Ah! Excuse me. Eek. There's too many voices happening. It's weird, Maya. Here, mean anything to you? Um, that, that's my name. All right. The victim drew this here note on her own blood, see? With her dying breath, she wrote down a killer's name. I'm not. Case closed. You're coming down to the precinct, Graham. What? That's a lot of voices. Dick and Gumshoe are both real world slang terms for detective. I didn't know Gumshoe. Dick Tracy. Yeah, that makes sense. If something smells, it must be the butts. That's true. Whoa. I missed some chat. Sorry. But like, this is what pushes Phoenix to become the best. Yeah, but no, I don't want her to be dead. That sucks, dude. His younger sister, Maya, was arrested on the spot. I was taken in for questioning. Didn't come out until the next morning. My eyes were heavy, but I couldn't sleep. I sat around waiting for visiting hours to begin at the detention center. I had to talk to Maya as soon as possible. This is room. Wow, they have poor Maya locked up like a criminal. Oh, it's you, the lawyer. Good morning. Good morning. She looks so tired. Um, are you going to be my attorney? Well, that's what I want to talk to you about. It's, yeah, it's up to you. I'd better give it to her straight. It's up to you. Up to me? Yeah, I don't think this is something I should decide. After all, you're the one in trouble here. Ah. Uh, they're never gonna believe me, are they? Even you, when you found me in the office, you looked at me like I had done it. Did I look at her like that? I don't know, I could have just been shocked by seeing the body. But no, I never thought. It's okay, I understand. She's got lots of pearls and she's got balls hanging off her whole area. Those have got to be heavy. And I also heard about you. Heard? Or what about me? I was talking to my sister on the phone the other day. Ah, oh, shit! Another voice! Um, I hope it saved it. Today was my junior partner's first time in court. Wow, really? How'd that go? It was quite the scene. Honestly, I was on the edge of the whole time. It's been a while. So we crash and burn? He's a genius. I'm a genius. I'm a genius. One of those strike fear in the hearts of evil types. The only thing he's lacking is experience. You, well, you could have given me some experience. I totally would have signed up for that. Huh, sounds like it was fun. Well, I know who to go to if I ever get in trouble now. I don't know, Maya. I think you might want to wait. Give him three more years. That is, unless you want to be found guilty. Huh? That's what she said. I I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult you. Uh, it's okay. It's true, I guess. But at the same time, I can't just sit by and watch. When I think the person who did this to M Mia, I'm gonna fuck that up all the time. I know. Uh, talk. Uh, about her. There's something I've been wanting to ask you. Yes. What's with that outfit? Oh, perfect. Cause, yep. Well, this is what all acolytes wear. It's 
my uniform, you could say. Acolyte? Isn't that like a church thing? A Acolyte, like people in... Yeah, there, do you... Me and Phoenix are one and the same. What is it you do? Oh, it's nothing strange, really. I'm a spirit medium. Oh, nothing strange? Nothing strange in your... A spirit medium is nothing strange to this woman. I want to know what is strange. I'm a spirit medium in training. A spirit medium? I'm pretty sure that qualifies as strange. Me and Phoenix are the same person! Uh, oh god, I gotta ask questions. So you're an acolyte, uh, medium in training. That's right. The Faye family, especially women, have always been very sensitive to the spiritual world. Mia, too? Wait a second. You said the Faye family. So Mia was into this stuff, too? Of course. She left the mountain to follow her career, she said. The mountain? They're actually... Okay. If I was first class, too. I... I had no idea. Hmm. Wait. What? So, you're real honest to goodness spirit medium? With ESP and all that? Yes, in training. Well, can't you contact Mia's spirit then? You can just ask her who killed her. I'm sorry. I'm still in training. I can do something on that level. Hmm. I thought it would be too easy. Yeah, that was weird. I mean, you speak me in. It's no. Nah! Ah! That's creepy, dude! No! Mm, talk to spirits, that's creepy. Did you tell me what. about the day of the murder? Yes! Let's see. That morning, I got up and I had some toast. Then I brushed my teeth. Then I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. Evidence? Yes. That clock shaped like the thinker. The one Larry made. How could that have been? Oh, wait. How could that have been evidence in a case? Um, right. She said something about that. I remember. You want to hear it in her own voice? Uh. Dude. She's, you want to hear it in her own voice and then the deadpan stare is freaking me the fuck out. Her, her own voice? Yes. I'm pretty sure our conversation is on my cell phone. Oh. Ah, uh, that's so much better. You recorded it. Yeah, I forgot how to delete those things. Oh, uh, please. Cell phone. So you say you have a conversation with your sister on your cell phone. Let's hear it. Right. Oh, I just remembered that detective took my cell phone. Sorry. Oh, right. Uh, of course. Next time I see Detective Gumshoe, I'll ask him for it. Oh, wait, that was me. Next time I see the Detective Gumshoe, Gumshoe I'll ask him for it. I'll read your notes so you don't forget, okay? I think I keep changing her voice slightly. Sure, thanks. Maya's memo added to the court record. This conversation I had with my sister's report on my cell phone. Okay. Um. Huh? Something doesn't matter? Um. I was wondering. Can I ask you a favor? This is the address of. Shit. The address of something. My sister gave me this a long time ago. She said if I was ever in trouble, I should call him. Well, I'm in trouble. You think you'd go ask him to represent me? Hmm. Sure. Sure, why not? I'll go ask. Thank you so much. I have no one else to return to. Say, what about your parents? Ah, oh, fuck. Say, what about your parents? Uh, I see. Don't worry. Leave it to me. Thank you. The trial's tomorrow at 10. What? Tomorrow? Tomorrow. What if this guy refuses? He told me that I don't... That if I don't find one in the sea, we'll pick an attorney to defend me. Why do you look so happy about that? When will that happen? They're giving me until 4 this afternoon. And visiting hours are almost up. I'd better hurry. Right. I'll be back. Fuck. Why did he ask me to do that again? Could you tell me about the day of the murder? Sorry, I know it must be hard. No, it's okay. All I've been doing the last few hours is talking about it. I've kind of gotten used to it. That's fucking... 
Creepy. Let's see. Good morning. I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on. Dude, we already did it. It practically qualifies as a serial murderer by now. Okay, so she's filling in more information. So then, when did you arrive at the office? It was right around nine. The lights were off and I could smell blood. Then I found her. My sister. Thanks, Maya. That's all I need to hear for now. Uh... Back. Uh... I can- I can actually examine this. Smile for the camera! Hey, bro. Yeah! This guard monitors visitors' room. He hasn't moved an inch. A real pro, this guy. <laughs> That's fun. They, they gave you the option to look at stuff. Okay, let's move. To... Grossberg Law Offices. It's the address of a famous lawyer. Okay. Why we got crikey mate up in there? What's that? Crocodile Dundee. According to the receptionist... Oh, hold on. According to the receptionist, the bo big boss is out. She couldn't say when he'd be back. It must be hard to keep track of everything when you're a famous lawyer. Not to mention, run an office like this. I guess I'll just have to come back later. Fuck. Nice plant. An expensive pot of plant. No idea what kind of plant it is, but it's probably the most expensive one available. A table for clients. Hmm. An elegant ebony case, and if I'm not mistaken, that lighter is made of solid gold. Even I can tell someone here has got money to burn. Okay. That painting has been bugging me ever since I stepped in here. The oil paint is so thick it's practically giving me a stuffed nose. I'm sure the pl price is nothing to sneeze at either, for all that matter. It's all in mahogany dust. The wood's been polished to a deep luster. Expensive looking mahogany bookshelves filled with expensive looking books. Hmm, funny. They don't look like they've ever been read. <laughs> I want, I want this, this bear or saber tooth tiger or something. Uh, nothing else? Oof. There's something else here? Examine. Maybe I missed something. Nope. Okay. I guess we come back. The office is filled with police officers. They're all busily searching for clues. This is going to be gumshoot. No. Well, it could be. Hey, you there! It is! This is crime scene, pal! No trespassing! I'm sorry. I don't know- Don't I know you from somewhere? Hey, you're that butts guy, aren't you? What? What? No, no, Phoenix Wright. How can anyone mistake me for Larry? Ah, I guess I got the wrong name, Mr. Wright. Sorry about that. That butts guy, he was a killer. And you're no killer, right? He was proven innocent. Um, right. And you were... Detective Suede Shoes! Um, Suede Shoes, wasn't it? That's me! Don't step on a blue suede shoes. Don't step on my blue suede shoes. <sighs> Wait, that's a song, pal! My name's Dick Gumshoe. Wait, that's Detective Gumshoe to you, pal. Anyway, get the name right. Don't go calling me Dick. Hey! Hey, Dick! Oh, wait. Hey, Dick, get over here. Y yes, sir. B be right there. I kind of like this guy. Uh, um, you're a lawyer, right, pal? If you got business here, you better do it quick. Whew. He thinks I'm Moya's lawyer. Uh, talk to him? About. Mia. About Miss Spade. Did you do an autopsy? Sure. You want to know the results, eh? Now don't you look at me like that, pal. It's no use. 
She might have been your boss, but that di doesn't mean you get any special treatment. All right, all right. You can see the report, but that's all. Oh. Uh, single blunt force trauma. That was instantaneous. All right, little Maya. Um, about Maya. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the trial. Sorry, Belle, but this is one trial you aren't going to win. Why do you say that? The city's put Prosecutor Edgeworth on the prosecution. Edgeworth? Edgelord? I'm sure you know what that means, you being a lawyer and all. I... don't. Prosecutor Edgeworth. Oh, that's me. Prosecutor Edgeworth. That's right, pal! Mr. Miles Edwards himself. Wait, you do know him, don't you? Uh, of course I do. I know him. He's a feared prosecutor. He doesn't feel pain. He doesn't feel remorse. Is he a robot? He won't stop until he gets his guilty verdict. Ah, don't talk about him that way. You make him barely sound human. <laughs> that was awesome. I called him a robot. Still, I'm afraid this pretty much decides the case. So Edgeworth is on this one. He hasn't lost a case since he became prosecutor at the incredibly young age of 20. Well, if he's at, like, 21, then it's not a big deal. Of course there are rumors of back alley deals and forged evidence. Oh, he's a scumbag. All I know for sure is that Edgeworth hates crime with an almost abnormal passion. Okay, maybe he's not a scumlord. I never imagined I'd be facing him so soon. Okay. Uh, do I have anything to present him? Oh, wait. Profiles. We got new people. The defendant, me, his little sister, and a spirit medium in training. Detective at the local, local precinct in charge of the initial investigation. Hey! That's the dude. Oh, he hasn't lost since he was 20, so four years. A gifted prosecutor and a ruthless man to do anything to get a guilty verdict. It's cool that it, like, fills out their profiles, even if I haven't met them. The victim, chief attorney of Fay and Law, conference offices, and an excellent defense lawyer. Okay. What if I present you with this? There's broken glass at the crime scene. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Hmm? Oh, that? Seems like glass stand next to the victim fell over. The glass shards were pieces of the broken stand. Okay, what about this? There's a piece of paper next to the victim, wasn't there? Yeah, the one with the killer's name written on it. Are you sure that Mia wrote it herself? Given the condition of the writing, it's hard to say if it was her own, her own, her handwriting or not. It can't be because the death was instantaneous, right? So there's no proof that Mia wrote it. Okay. I was wondering, you know anything about this? That statue? That's the murder weapon. Huh. He thinks the clock is just a statue too. I'm staring, I'm starting to wish I'd never seen this thing. Okay, if I present the... I'll do this last. Thanks for this. Don't mention it, pal. When it comes to dealing with lawyers, fight fair and square is our motto. I don't know how I feel seeing everything written up like this. It makes me as death seem so routine. Okay. I was wondering, did you see Maya Fay's cell phone? Oh, that? I have that. Do you think you could give it back? Oh, do you think you give it back? Sure. I mean, wait a second, pal. Tricky lawyer. Uh-oh, he's on to me. Tell him straight. If I tell him why I want it, there's no way he'll give it to me. Something the matter? Oh, no, it's just, you know, you know, detective. Nope. I know nothing, pal. A cell phone has a lot of numbers on it, like her boyfriend's. A cell phone holds a lot of little girl's sweetest and spiciest secrets. Eh, you're trying to confuse me. Sorry, pal, I already checked all the numbers in the memory. Impressive, you're quite the detective. Uh-huh. Oh, here, you can have the phone back. There weren't any suspicious car records in there, after all. It seems he didn't notice the recorded conversation. Hey, we got it anyway. My cell phone received from Detective Gumshoe. 
check the court record to hear the yeah okay i okay but i want to show him this goofy thing first i guess i've asked all the questions i need to you all done pal um yes thank you i'll be heading out now no i wanted to show him my badge oh wait one more thing i wanted to mention to you i don't suppose you're planning on talking to the witness Anyway, you'd better not. No influencing the witness when you're, with your loyally ways, pal. Fuck. I wanted to... Oh, witness. Never mind. Come to think of it, I had completely forgot about her. I did. The witness? Yeah, Miss April May. I'm sorry about this. I can't tell you anything about her. You shouldn't have told me the name. Well, you did... <laughs> there it is. But you just told me her name, Miss May, huh? So you sent her home already, then? Ha! <laughs> You're trying to loyally tricks on me now! She's not to go outside her room until her trial. So she's still in the hotel across the way. I love this guy. He's just a meathead. He's got himbo energy. I guess I should have... Oh, I guess I should know better than to try to get detective to leak information. You got that right, pal! Time to pay a visit to Miss May. I want you to see my, my badge. I'm a lawyer. Hmm, what's that? Sorry, pal, but I got no info for the likes of you. Aw, bummer. Uh, got nothing to say. Move. Oh, can I, shim. Should I not do this right now? Oh, here we go. Okay, so, so it's just the text that we saw earlier. All right, uh, examine? Plant! His favorite potted plant. I remember it had this bizarre name no one could even remember. Cordyline Stricta. <laughs> oh, he said it. Cordyline Stricta, pal! Who's that? <sighs> the sky is blue and so am I. There's that hotel right across the way. An old movie poster. Apparently, this was the first movie that made Mia cry when she saw it. Homeward Bound? I'll have to check it out one these days. Mia's desk. Perfectly clean, as always. The only thing it's missing is Mia. There's a horrendous amount of legal books here. The scarier still is that Mia probably read all of these. there but i also kind of want to show her the phone i don't think i need to oh my god it's a cat girl without that she's doing the cat girl thing uh her name's april uh shit i only have like two female voices Maybe we'll give her a nyeh voice. Yeah. Well, hello there, handsome. Um, hi. Smooth, right? Real smooth. You're the lawyer, aren't you? The detective told me. He said, don't say nothing to that lawyer. <laughs> Emma herself, thank Detective Gumshoe for making my job harder. Yeah. This is all like something out of a movie. It's all so exciting, I can hardly contain myself. Up so I can look the part of the beautiful white witness. That was the uh, wrong thing. Oops. Damn it. I pity the lawyer that has to cross examine this one. Whoa! Your house! What the fuck is this? An injector needle? There's a screwdriver stuck in this drawer. I wonder what's inside. Let's take a look. Hey! Oh shit. I'm sorry. It's like Pansu Hunter. God damn it. What are you doing? No touching. Oh, bad boy. That's... Don't call me that. You, you really should be prying around other people's rooms now. You wouldn't want to make me upset, would you? The fuck? Upset? I thought she was going to explode for a second there. I wonder what could be inside that drawer. 
Ah, oh, shit, go away. Uh. What you witnessed. Do you think you can tell me something? I need you to describe what you observed at the time of the incident. Oh, observe. Incident, you sound just like a lawyer in the movies. I like a man with a big... Vocabulary. Uh, better not encourage her. Uh, you know that thing that occurred, uh, happened the other day? The bad thing? What did you see when it happened? I don't suppose you could tell me about it. Pretty please? Let me see. Well, I'm well, dream on. If you want to know, you'll have to come to a court tomorrow, Mr. Lawyer. Ah, oh, boy. Fuck! Um, could you just... Who exactly are you? Oh, Mr. Lawyer, you're hitting on me. No. Hey, I'm just doing my job here. <laughs> you know you're cute when you blush. Oh, God, stop. Believe me, this is the first time in my life I've blushed this much. Uh, right, can you just tell me what it is you do? No. No. You, and you had your little ho hopes up, didn't you? Ah, oh, boy. I should just not even ask her, because she's not telling me nothing. See, there are two glasses on the table. Is someone staying here with you? Oh, what an amazing powers of observation. You must be one of those famous detectives, like on television. Uh, no, not me. Uh, I'm just a lawyer. Hey, Mr. Big Detective, why don't you go look for clues in the garbage, huh? This maid doesn't like noisy little lawyers. Oh, boy. Fuck! Go away! I need to, um... I don't have anything to present to her. Hey, look. Like, I got my badge. I'm a lawyer. Excuse me, but I'm a witness. Police witness. You understand? How could I bizarre possibly give you any information in good conscience, huh? Me, a witness. It's just like in the movies. Uh. I want to look at... Oh. The flowers are fake, as expected. I know some flowers and tulips, but that's about the extent of my floral, floral knowledge. Ah, still seen painting. Wait, should that be still life? Whatever, one of those is hanging on the wall. <laughs> I like that. There. Uh, uh, bottle and two glasses are on the table. Somebody must be staying with her. The late summer sunlight streams through the window. There's the Fay and Co. Law Office's building, of course. You can see the inside of the room pretty clearly from here. I think it would be a little difficult to recognize a face from this distance, though. simple bed. It's been recently made. Nothing eye-catching here. Okay, go away. I want to look. I'm not talking to you, phone. Hmm. I'm... I wasn't talking to you, phone. Hmm. I wonder what's inside. <clears throat> Maybe later. <laughs> That's funny. Alright. See you. Did I just... Shit. Hmm, seems like Mr. Grossberg is out. Well, maybe I should just wait here for him. To come back. <clears throat> that wasn't the most over-the-top clearing of the throat I've ever heard. Oh, boy. Ah, yes. Uh, ah, so you're the one they say has been looking for me. Uh, yes, that's me. He looks even grander than I imagined. Hmm, that badge on your collar. Ah, so you're the lawyer, are you now? Y yeah. Well, yes. And what do you want? I'm not particularly busy these days. Please proceed. Not busy? Then how come no one could get in touch with you? Hmm? Something the matter? You come to see the one and only Marvin Grosberg, did you not? Well, here I am, boy. What do you want? Out with it. Uh, um, well, s sir, uh, actually, it's about Maya. Maya Faye. Oh, you know them. Ah, yes, my F.A. Go on! Hmm? Why the strange reaction? Achacha! I'm really quite busy here, son. You just said you weren't. I can't go talking or taking cases on a day's notice. No, it's quite impossible. W wait a second. How did you know the trial was tomorrow? Yeah, that too. Uh, uh, um. Anyway, I'm afraid it's entirely impossible for me to represent her. Sorry, end of discussion. What's going on? He refused me before I even got a chance to ask him. What do I tell Maya? Fuck! Ass! He 
He's got interesting music. Your refusal. How can you just refuse like that? Please, tell me why won't you take the case? Mm, uh, uh, well, you see, it's just I'm busy. You see, the client is Mia's face, or but the client is Mia Faye's sister. Uh, mm. Mia trusted you. She knew her sister would be in good hands. Yes, yes, of course, I know that. However, I'm sorry, but I must refuse. Sorry. Goodbye. Free. Fine. I don't have time to argue with you anyway. I'll go look elsewhere. I think not. Huh? You say something? Mouthing off. I think not, I said. But what do you mean? I'm terribly, terribly sorry. But I'm afraid that no lawyer worth their salt will take on this particular case. Terribly sorry, my boy. Yeah, why? I... I cannot say. I beg your pardon? But could you leave now? I have nothing more to discuss with you. What's going on here? No, I'm... I have questions. How did you know Mia Fey? She worked here a long time ago. Quite the apprentice, that one. Learned my techniques in the blink of an eye. Welcome back. Lonnie! Your steadfast loyalty uh, is greatly appreciated. Hold on a minute. Oh, God. My, my chat disappeared. Back. Back. There it goes. New boss. Lonnie. There it goes. Lonnie coming in with you, sub. New boss. No, no unrecognized command. It's because I typed it wrong. I did a slash instead of an exclamation point. I know how to do this. Lonnie's, or, uh, Yuri's been a boss for so stinking long. There it goes. A woman never will tell her age except for maybe now since it matches the month count. Happy 31 months? Heck yeah, dude! How come it didn't read that? Did something else not start up? It did start up, it just asked me to log in. All my stuff had me re-log in with uh, Twitch. It was really weird. Aw, oh, man. That's why that one didn't read. Bummer. How you doing, Lonnie? How's you? How's your homework? Learn my techniques in the blink of an eye. I think you would like this game, Lonnie. This game is silly. She left one day quite suddenly. She had a mission, you see. A mission? You can see it in her eyes. She followed it with a burning passion. Never looked back, that one. That's quite a painting. Ha! <laughs> you noticed. It's my pride and joy. Impressive, isn't it? Well, isn't it? The color of the sky, the hue of the sea, the weave of the straw hat. It's worth at least three million. I have no intention of parting with it, of course. No, I won't sell it. Not even to you. I wasn't interested. It's not for sale. I'm not buying. Jeez. Okay. Uh. Did I show him? I'm a lawyer. Very sorry, but I've got nothing to say regarding this matter. Okay, uh... I don't think I want to show him anything. Go back to the detention center. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're back. Did you find the lawyer? Um, well... What do I tell her? The truth? Well, you see, just be honest. I I really don't think you should use that guy. He didn't seem healthy. He was all skin and bones. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit, she knows I'm lying. Why did it make me lie? What really happened? You don't mean he refused to help? Yeah. I see. I've been abandoned then. Ah, oh, it's so sad. Wait. I'll be your lawyer. What about your family? I only had my sister. My father died when I was very young. And I don't know where my mother is. I don't know. So she could still be alive? What about your mama? 
Women in my family have been mediums for generations. I see a lot of spiritual powers running in our blood. About 15 years ago, my family was involved in an incident. There was a man and he... He... He ruined our mother's life. Ruined? After that, she disappeared. Several years after that, my sister announced she would become a lawyer and she left the mountain. So you live by yourself? Yes, I've gotten used to it. Oh, also, I had to become independent or I would lose my powers. I feel bad for her, all by herself up in that mountain? She's by herself on a mountain? My mother's enemy. So who is this man who uh, ruined your mother? About 15 years ago, there was an unusual murder case. It made quite a stir. Everyone was talking about it, apparently. Whoa, sorry, I didn't mean to push that. The police were running out of leads and they were getting desperate. Wait, they didn't use a spirit medium, did they? The police convinced my mother to try to contact the victim. Wow, so what happened? The case was solved. We thought. We thought? The man my mother helped the police capture was innocent. Oh. Police's consultation with the medium had all been carried out in secret, of course. But the man found out about it and leaked it to the press. He told all the papers that my mother was a fraud, and the media jumped out on him big time. She, my mother, became the laughing stock of the nation. I see. <laughs> White. Huh? White. Excuse me. White? That was his name. My sister told me. White? Hmm. It's a little longer now before the state appointed lawyers comes in, I guess. 4 p.m. 4 p.m. Time's up. What should I do? Do I just leave her and go home? Hell no! We defend Amaya! I've made up my mind! I'm going to defend you whether you want me to or not. Uh oh. I don't know if you like that. Why? Why? Well... You missed out on my or Mia, Lonnie. You would have liked Mia. I can't abandon you. Someone else is the culprit. I don't know why. I can't abandon you. No one is the saddest person without any friends. I know. I've been there a long time ago. Oh, sad Phoenix. Why did I become a lawyer in the first place? Because someone has to look out for the people who have no one on their side. Maya, I won't abandon you. You can count on me. That's so kind of you. Aw. Well, let's fight this one and get you out of here. Hi, thank you. Whew, you smiled at last. You looks like an entirely different person. One last question. You are innocent, right? you. Will you trust me too, okay? It's a deal. So what next? There's something that's been bugging me. Her. She's what's been bugging me. Just what was inside that strange woman's drawer? It was when I tried to look into the drawer that she got all defensive. There has to be something in there. Her vibrator drawer. Leave it alone. Uh, I got your phone. There you go. Oh. Oh, I can't present that to her. Present. There it is. Did I show her this? Sorry, I've never seen that before. <laughs> there you go. I got your phone. I you got your cell phone back. Oh, say. Can I listen to my sister's voice? Maya's eyes closed. She listened to every word with such intensity. Before long, the tears began to roll down her cheeks. Aw. Thank you. Oh, God. That was sad. Loki, she's probably guilty. I hope not, because I like her. Oh, you can go... Oh, actually, we know she's not guilty. You can go in the office save at almost any time. It's important in case you don't want to get sent back to the checkpoint in a trial. Oh. Okay. Let's do that. Uh, can I go back here? Whoa, different person. 
Good afternoon, sir. Excuse me, you are? Uh, I beg your pardon, sir. I am the bellboy of this establishment at your service, sir. Oh, right. I've just come to deliver room service, sir. Um, do you know where Miss May might be? Ah, uh, I believe our guest Miss May is currently using, uh, their facilities. If you've no need of anything, I'll be taking my leave. Please stay as long as you like. Enjoy. Yeah. Wait. No, hey! Why does it seem like every time I come here, I end up embarrassing myself? Wait, now's my chance to snoop around a bit. Ah, I almost forgot. Uh, you came back quick. Might I ask you to inform Miss May that there is a message for her? Please tell her that Mr. White. Oh! That Mr. White of Blue Corp phone. Oh, right. Sure. Mr. White of Blue Corp. Where have I heard that name? We just talked to Maya. White, that was his name. My sister told me. White was the name of the guy who turned Mia and Maya's mother. Or ruined Mia's Maya's mother. Could it be coincidence? I want to know what's in this drawer. It looks like a needle thing. There's a screwdriver sticking out of the half-open drawer. Now's my chance to see what's inside. Hands! Whatever we hear. Battery? A wiretap. Hmm. What would a woman like her be doing with a thing like this? Wiretap added the court record. I just stole something from her room. You can't add something that you stole to the court stuff. Because we saw we saw uh, the the killer. Oh, they're fucking. Miss May and the bellboy getting down. <laughs> Funny. There's definitely some suspicion about this Miss May. Why would she have something like this in her hotel room? There's a story behind all of this. I know it. All right. But using the, this bit of evidence in tomorrow's trial, that's for sure. For Maya's sake, I'll get to this woman's bottom. <laughs> Wait, I mean, you know what I mean. Oh, bellboy. Still there. Uh-oh, time to scram. I look forward to t tangoing with you tomorrow, Miss May. In court. Interesting. The bellboy's tapping her wires. <laughs> I mean, good for him. Hopefully he gets a good tip. That, yeah, right? Super illegal. I mean, I, I, if it's like a presentable, like this proves beyond shadow of a doubt this person was fucking evil and did the murder. I'm all for that, but it's not legal in the justice system because it was stolen evidence. It's stupid. Hey, there's, um, Wadsworth, or whatever his name was. Court is now in session for the trial of Miss Maya Fay. Hello, sir. Look at this guy. Can I be him? Lonnie Chun, this isn't legal. <laughs> Inadmissible. Thank you, Lonnie. Prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Miles Edgeworth. I'd like to edge worth of <laughs> edge him quite a worth. I don't know. He's worth the edge. There it is. You better not show any signs of weakness. Er, I better not show any of any signs of weakness today, or it'll be on me in an instant. Oh no, that sounds like something. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, we we want that to happen. I think. Mister Edgeworth, please give the court your opening statement. Thank you, Vihana. The defendant, Miss Maya Fay, was on the scene, was at the scene of the crime. The prosecution has evidence she committed this murder, and we have a witness who saw her do it. The prosecution sees no reason to doubt the facts of this case, Your Honor. I see. Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth. Let's begin then. If we may call our first witness, Your Honor. The prosecution calls the chief officer of the scene, Detective Gunshoe. He can be on me in an instant. I'm with that. Witness, please state your name and profession to the court. Sir! My name's Dick Gumshoe, sir. I'm the detective in the charge of homicides down at the precinct, sir. Detective Gumshoe, 
You just describe for us the details of this murder. Very well, sir. Let me use this floor. Explain this. Let me use this floor map. <laughs> this map of the floor of the office to explain. The body was found by the window here. See? And the cause of death. Loss of blood. Oh. And the cause of death. Loss of blood due to the being struck by a blunt object, sir. The murder weapon was the statue of the thinker found next to the body, sir. It was heavy enough to be a deadly weapon, even a girl's hand, sir. The quarter perception is such who is ever dudes. They're still calling it a statue. <laughs> Floor plans added to the court record, okay. Oh, yo. This guy. Can we date him? No, detective. Y yes, sir. You immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay, who was found at the scene, correct? Can you tell me why? Yes, sir. I had evidence she did it, sir. Hmm. Detective Gumshoe. Please testify to the court about this hard evidence. I, I can't remember his voice. Fucked it up. It's too close, too similar to his. Maya Fay is arrest. As soon as the phone call came, I rushed into the scene. There were two people there already. The defendant, Miss Maya Fay, and the lawyer, Phoenix Wright. I immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay. Why? We had a witness accounting describing her. We in the room said that you wouldn't be able to tell the faces. Right? Uh Sorry, I just found a hangnail. Uh. Ow. Ow. Uh, gumshoe. The witness saw Miss Maya Fay at the very moment of the murder. Hmm. Very important, you say. Very well, Mr. Wright. You may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Cross examine what? I couldn't see a single contradiction in that testimony. Whoosh. Smack. What? Oh, it was, it was sound effects. Hey, Maya just threw something at me. What's this? When my sister couldn't find any contradiction in a witness's testimony, she would bluff it and press the witness on every detail. The witness always slips up and says something wrong. It worked lots of times. Eh, I should have expected Maya would know some of her sister's tricks. All right, let's give this a try. Okay, so now we're going to start pressing. Something to matter? No, Your Honor. I'd like to begin my cross-examination. Phoenix did note he didn't think a face would be noticeable. Yeah, but it isn't in the court record. And it, and it couldn't be because I, I was the one that found that out, huh? As soon as the phone call came, I rushed to the scene. There were two people there already. The defendant, Miss Maya Fay, and the lawyer, Miss Phoenix Wright. I immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay. She had a witness account describing her. The witness saw Miss Fire... Okay, can I press her at this? Hold on just one second. Y yeah! If I heard correctly... You said you arrested her because you had a hard evidence. She did it, correct? Yeah. Did, did I say that? Me? I heard you say it. <laughs> you did say it. You said it. That was great. Exactly. Exactly what about this specific woman in pink's claim was hard evidence? What? Miss Maya isn't suspicious and she sure isn't pink, pal. Well, I guess she is pink. That's enough. Detective Gumshoe. Do you have any more solid proof other than her claims, Detective? Um. Hmm. I guess pressing can have its advantages. Yes! Ah. Sorry. I got the order of things mixed up in my testimony, Your Honor, sir. You're a detective. You can't be doing that. There was something I should have told you about first, Your Honor. Very well, Detective. Let's hear your testimony again. You shouldn't be able to do that. 
Hard evidence. After securing the suspect, I examined the scene of the crime with my own eyes. I found a memento written on the piece of paper next to the victim's body. On it, the word Maya was written clearly in blood. Lab test results showed that the blood was the victim's. Ha, she was dead instantly. Also, there was blood found on the victim's finger. Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name. Clap, clap. Are you like that? That's my hard evidence. So you my hard counter evidence. Bellboy's giving her some hard evidence. <laughs> uh, hmm. Before you begin cross-examination, I have a question for you, detective. Your Honor! Why didn't you testify? Yeah, you get on his ass. Why didn't you testify about the vital piece of evidence in the first time? Ah, eh, I know. I'm real embarrassed. I forgot about it. Your Honor, sir. Try to be more careful. Very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination. Lies! Na -na 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 on it, written in her own blood. Before she died, the vic- Aha! Uh, this one. Objection! Detective Gumshoe, there's one thing I want you to clarify for me here. You say this victim, Mia Fey, wrote this note. That she was accusing the defendant, Maya Fey. That's really... That's really what you're saying? What? This isn't one of those lawyer tricks now, is it? Of course she wrote it. Who else could have? You have it backwards, detective. B backwards! The victim is the only person who absolutely could not have written it. This is a report from your department, detective. Immediately, immediate death due to a blow from blunt, blunt trauma. She died immediately! Matt! No butting your way out of this one, detective. <laughs> Play on words is great. Order. Order! The defense has a point. Someone who died immediately wouldn't have had the time to write anything down. I have a very, very wrinkly brain, and I can put this together myself. Objection. Mr. Wright. I beg your pardon, but when exactly did you obtain that autopsy report? When? When? The day after the murder. Fuck! I don't know! Was I supposed to pay attention? Shit. The day after the murder. It was the day after the murder. Prosecution's point being... Oh shit, he's so smart. He just... I think I fucked it up. That autopsy report is date outdated, Your Honor. What? A second autopsy was performed yesterday at my request. Death was almost immediate due to a blow from blunt object. There is a possibility the victim lived for several minutes after the blow. I received these results this morning. No way! Your Honor, it's quite easy to imagine that the victim did have time to write Maya. It's all. I see. Damn you, Edgeworth. Should have known you'd have some, some something up your sleeve. And he's got a lot of room up there. Why, Mr. Wright, you look shocked. Something you want to say? You're a sham. The detective's a sham. I'm a sham. <laughs> Detective Gumshoe. Was I a fool to trust you in your report? Eh? Me? I, I wasn't. Eh? Detective Gumshoe. Eh? I'm disappointed in you. Handing him the wrong report like that. Eh? I. I'm sorry, sir. You are at fault, Detective. This isn't going to look good on your evaluation next month. But, uh, 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 uh. Your Honor. I submit this report to the court. Understood. The court accepts the evidence. Autopsy report updated. Fuck! Well, Your Honor, the evidence strongly suggests the victim was identifying the killer. <clears throat> a 
I suppose that's the obvious conclusion, yes. Fuck! Darn, this isn't going good. The prosecution would like to call its next witness. This poor innocent girl saw the murder with her own eyes. Is it Pinks McGee? Let the witness Miss April May take the stand. Exactly what part of her is innocent? Yeah, she's ringing the bell of that bellboy. Yeah. Witness, your name, please. April May, at your service. We. Oui. I um. She said that out loud in my head. Ah! Clapping that gavel like you want to clap them cheeks. Order. An introduction should not require any reaction from the crowd. Exactly. Witness shall refrain from wanton winking. Unless directed at me. Oh, yes, your honor. This is not good. Her fucking music is hilarious. She's already captured the heart of every man in this courtroom. Hello. Where were you on the night of September 5th when the murder occurred? Um, he, I was, like, in my hotel room. <laughs> Checked in right after lunch. And this hotel is directly across from Faye and Co. Law offices. Oh, that's right. That's right, big boy. Please testify to the court about what you saw. <clears throat> it was like nine at night. I looked out the window, you know. And then, oh, I saw a woman with long hair being attacked. When attacking her was a mousy girl sitting in the defendant's chair. And the woman, like, dodged to one side and ran away. But that girl, she caught it up to her and... And she hit her. And the woman with the long hair, she kind of slumped. Man, that's all I saw. Every little bitsy bitsy. Wee. I have an erection. That's what <laughs> that's what that face is. Hmm. Well, Your Honor. I see. It is a remarkable solid testimony. I don't see a need to trouble the witness any w wait, Your Honor. Yes, Mr. Wright. What about my cross examination? Yeah, what the fuck, bro? I thought the witness's testimony had witness testimony just now was quite firm. Like my erection. Didn't you? Mr. Wright, I understand you were Miss Fe Mia Faye's understudy, were you not? You must know her technique as well. Her cowardly way of finding tiny faults in perfectly good testimonies. Fuck you, sir! Don't you dare talk bad about her. I'll end you. Hey, how dare you? Well, Mr. Wright, will you cross-examine the witness? Yes, I'm doing it! I'll gladly proceed with the cross-examination. Only because I have feeling Edwards doesn't want me to. She has to have some kind of weakness. Bellboy. The bellboy is our weakness. Very well, you may begin your cross examination. It was like nine. Okay. Hey, stop accurately predicting text. Am I doing that? Uh. Okay. The one attacking her was a mousy girl. How do you know? Moon like dodged one side, ran away, but that girl she caught up to her and hit her. Hmm, that's it? Nothing really jumps out as a contradiction. There's got to be something in there somewhere. Maybe I'd better just press on her on the facts on the bit. Or on the facts bit. Like nine at night. Okay, I wanna know that. Move it! How did you do that? Or why did you do that? Why did you look out the window? Were you expecting to see something? Oh, well, um, gee. What? That's it? She can't get out of this question that easily. I sort of, you know, want to flash my boobies out the window. I had a feeling. Well, I have a feeling she's trying to avoid the question. Maybe I should press a little harder on this one. Go for it. Let's see how far I can run with this. Surely you must have had a reason to look out your window at that time of night. Hey, uh... Fuck! Fuck you! Mr. Wright, I will not have you badgering my witness. I'll badger you all I want. But badgering? You insist on needing, needling her with these trivial questions. 
I really don't think it should be allowed. He's got fucking dummy vibes, does he not? A poor girl. Fuck! No! Don't! Aw, oh, man, they're all siding with him. Order. Mr. Wright, you have been warned. Fuck! Poor girl. What about poor me? You looked out the window. What did you see next? Uh. How do you know she was the defendant? Huh? Well, you know. She, she had a girlish physique. Women know these things. Look, I, I just know, okay? There's only one person at the scene of the crime with a short girlish figure. The testimony is bulletproof, Your Honor. He's right. I question this testimony. Fuck! I question the testimony. Hold on a minute. That testimony stinks. Like hairy butts. What? It's me. I'm willing to bet that. You're lying. Or you saw nothing. Yeah, this one. Because she can't see from that high. Right? Did you really see the defendant at all? Mr. Wright, what's the meaning of this? Yes! What is the meaning? Somebody tell me because I'm clueless about this. I mean... Okay. If you had really witnessed my client, Maya Faye, you would have noticed her clothes before noticing her physique. We got the organ music. No one wears clothes like this on a daily basis except her. And I'm no expert on fashion, but her hairdo looks far from normal to me. However, the witness's testimony mentions neither of these things. The testimony is bogus. Still, we don't know if she was dressed like that way the night of the murder. She was, Your Honor. I saw her. And so did Detective Gumshoe. What do you say to that, Miss May? Well, <laughs> what are you trying to say? You mean lawyer. I saw what I saw. Trifling in the details were necessary, darling. It's me. The court would like to remind you to please omit nothing in your testimony. Just bouncing their, them, them, them mommy milkers. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I'll be a good girl, I promise. Wink. Your testimony again. Or your testimony again, if you would. Damn, we almost had her. Everything I did. The victim, the woman, dodged the first attack and ran off to the right. Then the girl in the hippie clothes ran after her. The hippie clothes. She hit her with that weapon. I saw it. I did. That, that clock. Um, the kind of statuey clock. The tinker, I think. Well, does that accuracy of my report not startle you? <laughs> How do you know it's a clock? Everyone thinks it's a statue. I see. I really wish you had been so detailed from the beginning. Tell me all your dirtiest detailed secrets. Please begin the cross-examination. Um, okay. Didn't, okay, hold on. Uh, where is... She was to the left. She said she ran to the right. The victim wound judge person ran off to the right. Lies! This evidence clearly reveals the contradiction of that statement, Your Honor. Oh, how exactly are, they, are the evidence in that statement just now related? They aren't. Are they? Not at all. Mr. Wright, please think the facts over before making accusations. Ah, fuck, I took damage! Ah! Uh... Um. 
I don't think that won me any points with the judge. Why couldn't I have... Uh... Okay, maybe I gotta press her first. Ah! I had to press her first. I think. Is that right, as in you're right? As... Oh, yeah, because then she could have bullshitted it. Um, which hand do I look at? Hold my knife in again? Right! It was my right hand, right? Satisfied, Mr. Wright. Please continue. Now I get to do it, motherfucker! No! Lies! Shit! Lies like a dirty liar! Honor that. Oh shit! I do Huh? Really? Objection overruled. Fuck! Oops, that didn't go so well. Um. Uh, oh, I, another idea. Uh, present. I should have saved. Your Honor, a statement contradicts the evidence. Ah, there we go. It does. I don't see anything contradictory. Fuck! Huh? Really? They're contradictory, bro! Okay. Ran off there and he hit her with that weapon. I saw it. I did. That clock. That! Alright. Try to press her on that. A clock? Didn't this come up in another testimony recently? I don't know. I'm like so sorry, Mr. Lawyer. Can't win them all. No, but I have a feeling I'm on to something now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not a clock, motherfucker. Well, it is a clock, but you don't know that. It's me. Ha! Ah! Words that weren't saying contradictory things. What you say just now was quite revealing. Revealing? Like my tits? You'd like that, wouldn't you, Miss Naughty, Mr. Lawyer? You just said that the statue of the Tinker was a clock. There's no way of knowing... knowing that just by looking at it. Yeah. Another person in much the same position as you recently called this a clock, too. And he was found guilty of murder. Order, order! It's me. Can you explain how you know this was a clock? Oh, shut up! You know, God, you're ruining my case! Witness saw the murder with her own eyes. That's all that's important here. The defense is trying to confuse the issue with trivial concerns. You're scared, bitch! I got you on your heels! Yes. Yes, of course. You will withdraw your question, Miss Ray. I will not! I will not! But questions are all I have, Your Honor. How would you say that up? And as you may recall, I've caught murderers with these questions before. Well, only once. But she sent me tit pics. Objection sustained. You may continue the question witness. Ha ha, bitch! Whew, that was close. If you stop me there, the trial will be over. Uh, what? So that happened? What happens now? What happens now is you answer my question. How did you know it was a clock? From across the fucking street? Yes, I heard it say the time. Blood. This is Groundhog Day. How? So you've been to the office of Zane Co? No. Hey, I didn't say that. Why would I go there? I heard it from my hotel room. The office of Zane Co, where the murder took place, is very close to the hotel. Not that fucking close. She could have easily have heard the clock. But how would she know that it was the statue that was the clock? Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright, are you satisfied? Nuh-uh! No, Your Honor! I can't give up now! We're so close! I'm not satisfied because she should couldn't have heard it. It couldn't have rung. It couldn't have rung because it was broken! Yo! Your Honor, members of the court, 
It is inconceivable that the clock is in question rain. It's broken. Uh, I think it's broken. The clock's busted. Ah, fuck. Would I have known about batteries or something last time? You think? You, just look at it. Your Honor, please examine the clock. Hmm. Oh. See anything interesting? Your Honor? Well, I'm not sure I would call this broken, but I doubt it could ring. This clock is missing its clockwork. Oh, that's right. It's quite empty. I totally missed that part. Mr. Wright, would you care to explain to the court the meaning of this? It is as you can see. The clock was empty. It couldn't have rung. Therefore, this witness... The big fat liar! Ah, I was just gonna say that! Ah, it's a big fat liar! Okay, let's not fat shame. Come on. Well, Miss Faye? Shut up! Shut up! Quite a show you put on for us, Mr. Wright. He knew the clock was empty. Somehow he knew. I'm afraid you've forgotten one thing, however. Indeed, the clock is empty. As you say, it can't ring. However, we must ask, when was the clockwork removed? It was after the witness heard the clock, and there was no contradiction. Fuck! We'll have to ask Maya. Mm, that's true. That is a possibility. The clock might have been emptied after he heard it. And that is exactly what happened, Your Honor. Well, Mr. Wright, you need to prove that, Edgeworth. You can't disprove mine and... Oh, whatever. Can you prove when the clockwork was removed? <laughs> Impossible, of course. A phone? I have proof. What? Wasn't it you who told me proof is everything? Well, I was listening. And now I'll show you the proof you like so much. Dick pic. The evidence that proves when the clockwork was removed is... Oh, wait, that's me. The evidence that proves the clockwork was removed is... Pretty sure it's this. Oops. What's that? Take that! Take that! Take a look at this. Mm, that's a very cute cell phone. <laughs> have a girly phone. Oh, wait, this isn't my phone. Listen, this is the defendant's cell phone, and it contains a recording. A recording of a conversation he had with the victim on the day of the murder. That's right, be afraid. Be afraid! Order, order! Defendant's cell phone? Yo, look, he's getting worried now. The defense cell phone? Th this wasn't brought to my attention. Are you sad? You scared? Perhaps Detective Gumshoe overlooked it. Mm. Good detective better remember he's up for evaluation soon. I gotta say, I'm starting to feel bad for the big fella. What's the other conversation? Eep. So you just want me to hold on to the tinker in me, and if you could... I should have probably tell you the clock isn't talking right now. Huh, it's not working. That's lame. I had to take the clock work out. Sorry. Damn. Ah, that noise. Your Honor, I think this makes it clear the clockwork has already gone by the time this was recorded. Which was well before the witness even arrived at her hotel. <laughs> well, Miss May, would you care to explain this to the court? Just how did you know that the weapon was a clock? has seen it before that would make sense you're an idiot you know it does the defense have any objections mr wright yes the witness claims she has seen it before that's direct that contradicts the piece of evidence already submitted to this court well then let's see it please produce this evidence that will provide prove the witness oh wait please produce this evidence that will prove the witness has not seen the clock before it is made by larry but simple. This clock was never in any store ever. Uh, what? A friend of mine made that clock. Only two exist in the world. And the one that isn't here is in police custody. Impossible! Everything is sold in stores. It's me. I think it's high time you went shopping for a better excuse. Uh. Oh? Excuse is not on sale today. <laughs> How 
why did her thing holy shit she's terrifying now oh we're gonna give her a different voice if you ever voice. what's that to you porcupine head what stupid clock does not matter okay she did it and she's gonna die for it die Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. This is a court of law, and the witness will remain calm. <laughs> Silly me. Did I, um, lose it? I guess I did. Wait. Scary. That, that's very anime. What if the same voice, but with a demonic filter? Okay, I like that. Hold on. Uh... Shit, that's gonna be really hard to do. Uh. Okay, we'll, we'll turn up the. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Um. Does it work? It doesn't sound like it does it. It's really high pitched. It just sounds really goofy. It just sounds really goofy. Miss May, let me ask. Tell me, how did you know the weapon was a clock? Oh, fucking terrifying, dude. You like it? Alright. Alright, if you guys like it, we'll do it. Hmm. Oh dear. Does the defense have an option on this behavior? Opinion. A be opinion on this behavior. Oh, I have so many things I gotta switch through. Okay, this is it. Yes, Your Honor. Allow me to explain how you see the truth of the matter. It's April, May. You knew the weapon was a clock because you had heard about it. She could have heard about it because the news of the last murder. I don't think she held it. Witness had never held the clock in her hand. However, she had heard that it was a clock. She heard? That is correct, Your Honor. There's no other way she could have known the tinker was a clock. And I can show you the proof. Oh, well, this is interesting. Let's see it then. I feel like I've bit much of his voice. Show me evidence proving that the witness had heard the murder weapon was a clock. Uh, deep, 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 deep. I don't have anything. I don't have anything. Maybe that no, because that's this is the that's the murder scene. She would have saw it from, a. Uh... She would have saw it from, like, a news article, right? Uh, voicemail? Huh. I want to give you, perhaps, the evidence then. be able to do this? The wiretap? I feel like this is going to be inadmissible. But look at this! Oh god, that's terrifying. I found this in Miss Maya's room. Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what this is. It's April, May. You were tapping the victim, Miss May's Mia Faye's phone, were you not? Yeah, yeah, I knew that was gonna be your honor. This is irrelevant. I'm not entirely sure what it is, what it is. Objection overruled. It troubles me that our witness was in possession of a wiretap. It's outrageous. Does the defense truly claim that the witness was tapping her phone? Absolutely! Even if that was the case, which it is not, you still have to prove one thing. Did the victim ever say that the weapon was a clock on the phone? 
Can you prove that? I think not. I think I can, ass monkey. Oh yeah, I think I can. It's simple. What? What? Here's my proof. The proof that the victim said on the phone that the weapon was the clock is the same thing we used earlier. Fuck. This game's great. I'm having a blast. Present defendant's cell phone. Yes, we seen that. Listen once more to the conversation between the defendant and the victim. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh-huh. It's April May. Oops. Excuse me. It's April May. That's excitement, burps. Use the wiretap to listen to this conversation. That's how you knew the tinkerer was a clock. Am I wrong? Hi. Hi. Shut up! Your Honor, this is ridiculous. Your Honor, this is not ridiculous. Look at the witness's face. Does she seem amused to you? The defense demands an answer. Witness, witness, answer the question. Did you tap her phone? You tapped that bell, boy. Miss May. Er, ooh, wrong voice. Miss May. Shut up. Oh. Shut up, all of you. Why can't you get away? Talk to me this way. You, you liar. I think that's like an insult. Oh, God, she's so scary. It's no fair. All of you are ganging up on me. Oh, I'm the bad girl. Is that it? Is that it? That did it. The court's seen the real Miss April May now. Now to deal with the final blow. <laughs> Speaking of blow. Uh, you did it, didn't you? Why the wiretap? Why'd you tap her phone? Why did you tap her phone? Answer the question. Do I have, do I have to? Isn't this a murder trial? Isn't tippity, tippity tapping irrelevant? Uh, she's saying exactly what Ezra wants her to say. It's May. We're tapping the victim's phone. I hardly call that irrelevant. While this court does not condone the defense's tone of voice, he has a point. Well, Miss May, do you have an explanation for the court? Can you prove you had nothing to do with this murder, even though you tapped her phone? <sighs> I'd like to see her pull that off. Her top? Don't say that in court. Mr. Lawyer, I saw that evil, evil grin. You're probably thinking, I'd like to see her pull that off. Oh my god! <sighs> I'm telling you guys, I'm Phoenix Wright. Damn, she's good. Well, you're not the first man who's thought that. And of course, I can and will. Wait, what? You can't be serious, no way. Why, I say, way! Oh, and I share you with, I'm serious, Mr. Lawyer. Okay, so the killing happened around 9 p.m. at night, right? Hey, that's just when I was getting room service from the sweet bellboy. Getting some, her, she was getting her room service, you know what I mean? Room service? Iced coffee, I believe it was. Can we check her receipts? Oh, those are columns. I was like, the, the gold here doesn't match up with the white after the flags. It looks like it's not painting, but I think those are, are columns. Ice coffee, you know, like normal coffee, but cold. If you don't drink it quick, ice melts, and then you have regular cold coffee. Uh, ice coffee? I think I'm making this up as the bellboy. Wink. Ergo, the witness was not on the scene at the time of the murder. She wasn't the murderer. Oh, I guess Phoenix doesn't know that. So where is that lever? It is my great displeasure to inform you that the witness appears to have been tapping the victim's telephone. However, that is a separate crime with no bearing on this current case whatsoever. Her testimony stands. She sh called the defendant Maya Fay commit murder. <laughs> Whoops. No! They're going to let her get- just walk away? There's no way I can win this unless I tie Miss May to the murder somehow. Well, does the defense have anything to say? Um, well, come on, think of something. Call the bellboy as a witness. The defense would like to call the hotel bellboy as a witness. 
There's something suspicious here, and I'm going to get to the bottom of it. I think you've sunken quite low enough already. Shut up. I objected calling the bellboy. Of course you would. Why? What's your reason? Because I hold that to the hold that the wiretapping had nothing to do with the killing. However, if you agree to one condition, I'll consent to calling this witness. Or just we are allowed to do that. Condition. If Miss April May's alibi is not called into question after you examine the bellboy. And you will recognize that Miss April, April May was not the killer, thus she is innocent. And there, boy, you must also accept the verdict of guilty for Miss Maya Fay. That is my condition. What? I'd better find something suspicious in that bellboy's testimony. Otherwise, Maya will be declared guilty on the spot. What should I do? Well, it's not giving me the option to go back. Let's fucking do it. All right, I've got nothing to lose except for, well, everything. Understood. I accept your condition. That's super not legal. Hmm. Ooh. You fell right into my trap. What is this? You heal? Uh oh. Um. Wait. Very well. The court calls the hotel bellboy to the stand. I believe we're ready for the witness to testify. He certainly does look like a bellboy. Why? Why are you carrying that into a courtroom? Can I have one of those cookies? Disregard that last question. I want one of those cookies. Yes, sir. I received your summons in the middle of work. So I'm happy to be of service. I'm in the middle of work right now, you see. I'm trying to deliver these to the jury. And he said it looks rather heavy, so without further ado, the witness may begin his testimony. Very good, sir. It's Maya's room service. I am the head bellboy at the... Uh, I am the head bellboy at the Fine Gatewater Hotel. In business for four generations. I believe I received a call at eight in the evening from our guest, Miss May. She asked for a nice coffee to be brought to her at nine on the dot, sir. Why on the dot? <clears throat> That's creepy. I brought it to her at precisely the requested time, of course. And I delivered the iced coffee to our guest, Miss May herself. I see. The defense may begin its cross-examination. Right. I'm ready. I hope. This is it. I can prove Miss May was involved with the murder now. I will be finished. Why on the dot? I'm the head bellboy the blah blah blah. I believe I received a call in the evening from my Yes, that's fine. She asked for an iced coffee to be... Yes, that one. Nine on the dot, you say? Yes, yeah, I confirmed that detail several times. She was watching a program on the TV and wished to drink after she finished there. Nine, the time of the murder. I brought it to her at precisely the requested time, of course. And I delivered the iced coffee to our guest, Miss May, herself. This bellboy wouldn't have any reason to lie, but I have to find something used in his testimony. One more time. Press him until he spills the beans or his, or his tea. <laughs> Let's save. I'm the head bellboy. I believe I received a call. I brought it to her at precisely the requested time, of course. So then she wouldn't have saw the murder. Precisely 9, then? Precisely, exactly, and most definitely so. 9 p.m. How can you be so sure? Miss May was quite insistent that it be brought then. Oh. Oh, bellboy, tea. I'd like, like, iced coffee at exactly 9 o'clock. Something like that, sir. Therefore, I knocked on her door at the crack of 9, sir. Why would she be so particular about the time? And I delivered the ice coffee to where I guess Miss Meyer herself. Aha! You are sure it was April, Miss April May herself? Absolutely, sir. I serve her, sir, accordingly. Absolutely? Yes, sir. As in, so very absolutely, sir. It's an endearing mannerism of mine. How come you're so very certain? Or how come you're so very certain? Oh. Well, when I brought the room service, sir, she, I guess, sir, favored me with a 
an ambassador. Is that blowjob? Oh, I was gonna say, is that French for blowjob? Embrasser? Is that French for embrace? Is he French? It's French for kiss, sir. I'm not a, I'm not a French kiss, sir. More of a peck on the cheek. But why would she have done that? I believe perhaps she was momentarily swayed by my prim demeanor, sir. It was a moment I shall never ever forget, sir. Sounds pretty fishy to me. I think our Miss May was up to something and wanted the bellboy to remember her. No good. There's nothing there. Is is that it? Finally, you understand. This bellboy has absolutely no reason to lie. Now, if you have any indecency, you will end this rather tedious cross examination here. Hmm. It was a bit tedious. The witness may leave the stand. Can't let this happen, can I? Protest. Wait. Please wait. Yes. Does the defense have something to add? One last question. Let me ask one last question. Objection. Shut up! Your Honor, I must object. The charade of justice has gone on long enough. Yeah. Oh. Blah, 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 blah. Wrong voice. Now, now, Mr. Edward. All right, Mr. Wright. I'll give you one more question. That's all. Okay. It's really. This is really it. Now, it's my last chance. What do I ask him about? Check in room service of bed making. Room service! Tell me again about uh, room service. Again, sir? At exactly nine, I delivered room service to Miss May in room 303. The guest had requested an coffee. ice coffee. 18 was the charge, I recall. I see. Oh? $18? Yeah. Doesn't that seem a bit expensive? Yes, well, iced coffee for two, you know. We don't skip on the ice, sir. Why two? What did he say? What did you say? Uh, oh, uh, rather, quite. Hellboy, tell us the truth now. Was someone else staying in Miss May's room? Objection. Shut up, you! I don't want to talk with you! I object. That was objectionable. Objection overruled. Oh, wait. Objection. Whoa, what was his voice? Objection overruled. The witness will answer the question. Uh, y yes, I see. Why did you not mention this in your testimony? W well, sir, you, uh, you didn't ask. Nice try. John Defy and now, sucker. That's the sort of thing you're normally supposed to mention. Uh, yes, quite. Indeed. It was a good bur... It was a good... Barrister there? What's a barrister? Mr. Edwards, who? He asked me not to mention if it was. Oh! He asked me not. Uh, he asked me not to mention if it wasn't specifically asked, sir. Aha! Fear in those eyes. <clears throat> you fool. You got trapped in your own trap card, sucker. I've done it. I've won! That was weird. Is April May checked into a twin room with a man, correct? Y yes, sir. Then, when you brought them room service, you didn't see that man in the room? That's right, sir. Hmm. Your Honor, we have just learned of another person involved who may be the murderer. In light of this new fact, I hold that it is impossible to judge the defendant. Would you agree, Mr. Edgeworth? And who, Mr. White? Who is this other person? Um, let me fucking lawyer her up. Simple. It was the man with Miss May. Slam! The man who checked in with Miss May. <sighs> Your Honor, as has been previously revealed, Miss April May was tapping the victim's phone. And Miss May herself has an alibi at the time of the murderer. But not the man! However, that does not clear the man that was with her. The ball boy saw one el no one else in the room at the time of the murder. Why, <laughs> what a convenient little setup. It's too late. Too late? I suppose you'd like it if it were too late, wouldn't you? After all, it was you who had the presence of the other man from this court. Yeah! 
Yeah, take that right in the heart. Ugh. I'm start amateur. These, these accusations are ludicrous. Luda! You know, the court acknowledges the defense's argument. I expect the prosecution and defense to look into this matter fairly. Am I understood? Yes. <sighs> yes, Your Honor. That is all for the day. All today for the trial of Naya Fay. Court is adjourned. I, court is adjourned. There it is. That's his voice. Mr. Edge Unworthy, more like it. Right. Oh my god, it's almost 10 o'clock. Should we end it here? Like, because I feel. I think we're gonna jump right back into stuff. Hey, hey, Kira, should we round this one out? Does this end like the chapter here? Or should I save and end it now before we get into some crazy stuff? Mr. Red, you're amazing in there. Really? I think I might be your newest fan. Well, I was just doing my job, you know? <laughs> and again, that other attorney was pretty cool too. Huh? That face of his, with his eyes wide and trembling lips. I think that was his old face. It sent shivers on my spine. Uh, if you say so. What happens with me? Do I get to go home now? Uh, well... No, I don't think so. Not yet. Oh, I see. But I got a great lead in today's trial. Lead? The man with Miss Maya May, or Miss May. He's the key. Oh, I get it. What happened to Miss May after that anyway? I heard they arrested her. I guess she's learning her charms won't work everywhere. She's probably at the detention center now. I may have to go down there later. Anyway, this case is far from closed. Yes, sir! I'm going to find out more about this man. You think he was the one who... Maybe so. Sis! Don't worry, I'll find him by tomorrow. I promise. I'm counting on you! I'll save after this post-trial wrap-up. Okay. I asked for a full record of April May's testimony. I thought it might come in handy during the trial tomorrow. But now that I have it, I'm not so sure. Most of her testimony was all lies. In fact, there's only one part that hasn't been stricken from the record. May testimony added to the record. The victim dodged an attack. That's what I was trying to do from the beginning. I don't know how much good this will do me at all. Now. Anyway, I'm to hit the pavement and do some investigating. I doesn't belong in the detention center, and if it's up to me to set her free. The be continued. Well, is it going to heal me? Do I heal overnight? Do I get a long rest? Can it heal me? Ah, wait! Time! Time's out! Time's out! Wait, just don't push anything. Just don't push anything? Aha! Okay, we have to stick on this annoying scene. Ah! Shit! No, go away, you! I don't see nothing. How do I... How do I... Title screen. Aha! Yes, we missed nothing. All right, my friends. Play with 50%. Dude, this game is goofy fun. I thought the, the voices were going to be exhausting, and they kind of are to a point, but it's silly goofy fun. I, I really get into uh, playing Phoenix because he gets so excited. He gets so excited. Um, so we're going to continue playing this uh, for the foreseeable future. Um, it's like 60 hours of content, apparently. So uh, we'll be playing all Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays um, until we're done with it. And Fridays, we're going to be playing Baldur's Gate. I think we might actually end up taking a break from that because uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth comes out at the end of the month. Uh, I did schedule to take some time off. Uh on its release date and uh, the Friday afterwards so we can just play as long as I stinking can stay awake. I'm super excited for it. Um, also, I have the collector's edition coming in, so I really hope that shows up the day of release so I can play it. Uh, oh, that means it's going to just show up. Um, oh, it's going to show up later in the evening, so maybe I don't have to take the day off. I don't know. We'll figure it out, um, but we'll, we're going to be playing that and I might just go hard in the paint and just play the shit out of that. 
and it, all the other games are just gonna go in the, the back burner <laughs> until then but um this has three parts or at least there's a trilogy i should say so maybe um i will make sure we, we do two of them at least and then if we get too close to the release date of rebirth maybe we'll put off the, the last one to another day or something um i'll have to miss the stream on tuesdays and wednesdays i can always yeah yeah, yeah you can always check out the the vods will be on uh twitch and uh i always repost them up on youtube too so um but thank you again so much for the game dude i so much for the game because uh I, i'm having a blast i did not uh, expect it be so so into it. it and i can immediately see why it's a uh, so many people love it and it's a cult classic so um I'm, I'm excited to play more we'll be back at this again tomorrow normal stream time work is bananas right now so i might end up having to take some time off or something uh, to deal with said bananas but hopefully i'll be able to continue normal streams and stuff but uh let's see can, can we uh maybe send some love off to a fellow stream streamer do we have anybody streamer streaming in? <laughs> Kim is playing Nancy Drew. That's kind of um, similar to us, what we're playing, right? You guys want to go raid Kim? Because she's playing Nancy Drew games. It's kind of up in the same thing. Detective E, right? Chemistry. Uh, she always does mystery game mondays so let's go raid kim i don't think we've raided her in a while anyway uh there's uh messages out there you can feel free to copy paste one for subs one for non-subs or feel free to use any of your emotes that you so desire but thank you guys so much for hanging out with me remember to spay new to your pets adopt on shop donate to risk if you can afford it or open up your house up to the possibility of fostering it is a very rewarding experience and helps those animals and races out that are very much in need anyways i'm invasive Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Thank you so much for letting me be your stream tonight. I heavily appreciate it. And I'll catch y'all next time. See ya. Oh, you're going to hear double music because uh, the game isn't exited right. Or doesn't have separate audio. That's it. I'll just exit the game. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Come on, get up. Let's get some booties. Let's go. <laughs>